this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Oh, fuck, let's do this. <laughs> Morning, oh, everyone. Yes. Oh, boy. And it's got no voice. Yeah, that's good for a radio show. It is, though, man. When uh, one of the hosts can't talk. No, it's good because um, the ladies will get a little moister today. Yeah, ladies. A little moister. Yeah. A little more moist. This is terrible. I was hacking like a maniac uh, yesterday and last night. A lot of coughing going on. Yeah. It's the tail end of that cold thing that I had. Yeah. Uh, apparently from everybody I've heard that has it, uh, you get this bad cough when it's done. And that lingers for a while. And now uh, I, was, I was really coughing last night and uh, woke up this morning to Kenny's phone call. And I literally was trying to tell him, okay, I'm up. And, and I was like, <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> it's terrible. He's getting me some tea with honey. You want some tea with honey? honey. Yeah, fucking terrible. Mm, maybe you got the whooping cough. Uh, uh, <laughs> that cold comes back, then you lose your voice for about three days. That's great. Perfect for the weekend. Yeah, I don't care about losing my voice for, you know, the weekend. Yeah, because uh, who the fuck talks during the weekend? Yeah, this is my job. My my voice is perfect by Monday because I don't say a word during yeah. the weekends. Why bother talking? There's no one to talk to. People stare at me and go, why aren't you talking? We wa we listen to your show every day, but okay. why aren't you talking now? Because I talk all week. And I so badly want to tell them all because I talk a lot <laughs> and I just want to not talk. Wouldn't it be nice to not talk? from 6 to 10 <laughs> in the morning just to not have to talk. Really? Like, we have to talk. We can't just sit here. Why not? We've tried everything else. Let's just try that. <laughs> All right. I like it. Let's do that. <laughs> we should both go silent and see who breaks the silence Who, who fucking gets too nervous and starts chiming in. I Isn't really... there that stupid thing, though, where, like, if there's no sound... Something kicks in. Yeah, that's why we always, in the past, when we play the silent game, we make slight noises to keep, like, to keep <laughs> the processing going. Um, I, I, um, uh, I, I, I get more, um, more complaints from the fans uh, lately than usual about like customer service and I want to turn on my fucking XM unit. One guy he was hilarious on Twitter yesterday. He yeah. was like keeping track of how long he was on. Um, on hold with customer service. He's like, I'm, I was trying to sign up for your show. Uh, they don't know your show. They didn't know it. And then he's like, all right, I'm 20 minutes in. And then I checked my Twitter a little later. All right, I'm 40 minutes in, and Great. I'm still on hold trying to get your show. Why is it so difficult? Why? Then another guy's like, I rent mm -hmm. the same car all the time at XM. I can't get your show. Another guy yeah. yesterday, the app. Oh, it would have app. been nice to listen to Brewers' uh, stories, but it was looping every 10 minutes. Yeah. I can't get your show. Can't hear it. Can't get it. The app doesn't work. Right. I, Fucking I, I gave up, so now I found a place where I can listen to your show for free. Oh, well, yeah, see? There's a whole thing going on, it seems. I don't know. There is word about anything we do, like compromising their content. Right. Yet they fucking have people running to other content because right uh yeah they can't fucking get the show my dad got a new car and hasn't been allowed to sign up for our channel until after his trial subscription subscription is expired what he can't listen to the show why who's dad your dad yeah. wait your dad has a new car it's just his excuse for, doesn't want to listen to you yeah it's are you kidding me? <laughs> Don't want to listen to you and the fucking no. broken lizard guys. <laughs> oh, God. They weren't bad. No, they weren't bad. You did a very good we job. We would have never had those guys on our show. No, no, that's, that's a fair never. statement. <laughs> that's fair. Fucking never. <laughs> Farva. But Farva was on. That's but cool. but but you're playing this wrong. Like uh, Sam's got those parents that are obsessed with the you know Sam's radio with their career. boy. So they actually have so an XM home unit in the house. Yeah. Oh, so boy. they must be losing their minds that that uh, your dad can't get the show in his new car. Why can't he? He got a new uh, car with a. Yeah. But uh, we come with XM. No, he got a new car with a serious unit, and so you have to sign up for the best of XM. And right. then he called, and he was like, "I'll pay for the best of XM." I know I have a free subscription right now. And they said, no, you can't have it. Wait, people can't 
People can't sign up for the service until their trial is over, their six-month trial? Oh, That's man. what he said. He said they That said, would be no. the craziest thing ever. Why? He said, they said, I said, why aren't you listening in the car? Because and a lot he of said, they won't let me. Because a lot of people, when the trial is oh. over, they're just lazy. They kind of like yeah. the service. But at that point, they're like, yeah, I'll get to it eventually. But so if you got to like it. Yeah, if you got a guy a week, two weeks in going, holy fuck, I do like this. I want to sign up now. Why, right. why isn't that possible? Or once the trial thing ends, he's just going to say... Re up to re up me whatever I have. Just re up the thing. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Think. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let me now get a special fucking channel thing. Huh. I wonder if that's true. Your dad's a pretty smart guy, so Thanks. I would I would assume that he he tried uh, some workarounds. Yeah, I mean he keeps that mustache in check. He's not, you know. Well, he certainly does. That's a job in itself. Right. I, I saw I saw Sam's dad recently, and I said, "Look at you ahead of the trend." All the fucking Brooklyn hipsters are now. <laughs> yeah. Not only, sure. not only are they growing mustaches because the mustache thing has been around a little bit now. Right, it's come back a little bit in the last year or two. But now they're going with the fucking fancy fucking tippy tip mustache thing yeah. with the wax, and some of them are are putting a little curve in handlebar mustache. A little bit. It's being used in the um, you see in the Heineken more. ads, I think. Right, in the Heineken ads where they have the old timey fight guy, and he's got mm. the big handlebar mustache. Do you like that Heineken ad with the how to booty by the booty by the ball? Oh, where the guy's walking in with the it. chick. It's the I, music's playing. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty so good. catchy. What yeah. kind of music is that? I don't know. Howdy who? Does some he go hide 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 who? I don't know. Can you that find is that some really kind fast? of wacky fucking music. And I don't even know what the commercials for. And I finally, because I was watching the stupid fucking Knicks. Oh. And the Heine that ad came oh, on, and I was so fucking pissed. I was like, "Wait, I, you know what? At least I can get something out of this. What? Yeah. What is this for?" And then it's the Heineken logo at the Heineken, end. I'm like, yeah. "Oh, okay." Is that where the guy walks in with the chick? Yeah, and it's like and they're walking Heineken, through Heineken, everything. Heineken. And music's playing. I yeah. can't. I can't uh, <laughs> do the impression. But can you find it really fast? I don't know which one it is. I don't know how to search. It's it's for Heineken. It's their latest commercial, and it's like very ethnic. It's a, like it's like an ethnic. Uh, I don't know, like a uh, cool dance club, I guess. And yeah, he's walking yeah, through all yeah. cool and shit, and this music playing. Very cool. And I fucking love the music. <laughs> you didn't watch the Knicks, right? No, I did not. This fucking fucking team so frustrating what's what happened well you got carmelo anthony do you really want me to break it down for you for um, a second well, you right, don't really no you you know you're well, talking to the audience carmelo anthony is is a very talented fucking uh, basketball player but he doesn't really know how to play with anyone else he's a fucking ball hog who sucks in the uh -oh. in the clutch I know the Knicks are uh, out three starters but he just i fucking wish they could trade him and then you got Stoudemire, this selfish piece of shit that punches the uh, well, fire extinguisher. Yeah. And then, if I was him, I wouldn't show up at Madison Square Garden. He's sitting on the bench in a sling, knowing everyone knows why he's in a sling. That's it wasn't because he was doing battle on the court. It's because he's a little fucking pissy baby and punched a fire extinguisher, taking him out of the entire series. They made him show up. You, you think? Know? Yeah. It's like, I don't give a shit. You're showing up. You're fucking sitting on that bench. And you're going to stay, stay the whole fucking game. Right. And, and it was funny because uh, there's a lot of hate for LeBron James. So there were a lot of asshole chants at the game last night and, sure. and bullshit when there was a bad call, which is hilarious because the announcers don't even acknowledge no, no, they that make you like can hear happening. clear as day through your TV, asshole, the whole crowd. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, why don't, why don't the fans at the guard and fucking point at Stoudemire and call him an asshole? Oh, he was wearing a suit. Because huh? he guaranteed us that we weren't going to get through this series. He guaranteed us. And I guess last night proved that uh, point. What happened? Oh, yeah. just They uh, almost looked good in the first half and then fell apart. And then fucking um, uh, King James, <laughs> LeBron James, James had, had 30 <laughs> points for the night and just fucking lit it up <laughs> in the fourth quarter. Yeah. He had more points in the fourth quarter than the entire Knicks team. And then he got Jeremy Lin on the bench. With those wacky glasses, all he need is all he needs is the buck teeth to to ha to look like a stereotypical Chinaman. Uh, really, he's he's looking like a. You didn't see his joke. glasses yet. Like a joke Chinaman. You know, you know the you know those glasses that oh, were yeah. used to make fun of the Asians by having the the horn rim black glasses. Right, yeah. He's sort of wearing those. I'm oh, like, well, boy. you might as well get buck teeth while you're at it. <laughs> but we're not supposed to say chink in the armor. Well, no, don't no. make it so easy for everybody. That's uh, oh, no, boy. those aren't it. Yeah, he was that's... on the bench where there's like I'm just hanging. I I need to see glasses. <clears throat> I mean, uh, you know, the Heat were going to be pretty tough to get past. 
Anyway, but fucking Stoudemire. What mm. a fucking self. They're all selfish fucks. They don't know how to play with each other. Oh, boy. Stoudemire doesn't know how to play with Anthony. Anthony doesn't know how to play with anybody. Well, that's true. So, whatever. <laughs> you you what? got the picture of him on the... No, those aren't. Well, I bet you could kind of yeah, see, yeah, right? Yeah, you could definitely see. Don't they look like those gla those, those yeah, yeah. Chinese glasses you get? You used to get them at novelty stores <laughs> right, years right. ago when they were novelty stores. Right. Well, that's that's what he chose to yeah to go with. Some friggin' Asian woman yesterday. Holy fuck, man. Where? On the way On the home? expressway. Yeah, I'm driving and uh, left lane. Someone was stalled in the left lane, which I never understand in moving traffic. Right. Like, it caused a traffic jam because they were stalled. Of course. But initially, they must have stalled and just stopped in the left lane. Now, if you're cruising around at highway speed and you're in the left lane and you have a problem with your vehicle, you have time there's to get over. plenty of fucking time and momentum especially to the, get the fuck over. Especially the time when you're on the highway. There's yeah. less cars. Yeah. Maybe in rush hour, maybe you can't make that move to the right, but certainly when you were driving. Of course. There was nothing going on until they stalled in the left lane. Right. So I never understand that. So uh, so everyone starts drifting over to the right. I go all the way to the far right lane, and I'm ready to zip past everybody. And uh, this Asian woman is in front of me. She literally jams on the brakes in front of me to let someone else in. Wow. Like, like you don't let someone in when we're all merging over and getting back. You're just, you're just going. Right. You know, they'll, they'll get in when they can. She jams on the fucking brakes. I jam on the brakes. My uh, backpack on my passenger seat goes flying really? on, onto the floor. I, I was cursing. And then I pass her, and there she is. Mm. Fucking face. Most accidents, sir, because these people just don't know what the fuck they're they doing. They don't know how to drive. I, I would I would be mm. all for making it really hard to get a, a driver's it license. It should be very I'm hard. I'm serious. It would be a yes. pain for all of us because you like you just want to get the fuck out of there. You know, you want to answer How? Sorry, that's what are very, you crazy? That's, that's fucking blazing hot. That's like fucking throwing lava down your Great. throat. There goes my tongue. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, we'll get through this. Oh, oh my Nick, god. Does the Knicks need new coaching? Mm. I don't understand. If all the players can't work oh, well sports. together. Uh Woodson is a I think he's a pretty good coach. I really do. He he uh he has a pretty damn good record since he took over for uh for the you know um But he can't get these guys to figure out their chemistry? It's all about Anthony and um, and Stoudemire. See, the whole thing, if you really want to break it down, the only reason Jeremy Lin had a chance to become Jeremy Lin, he was just a player before that, mm -hmm. was because, uh, don't forget, Carmelo Anthony was, was out that entire time. Right. Carmelo Anthony was out the entire time when Sanity happened. And then when you know he came back in, everyone's like, oh, boy, how's this going to work? And people were like, I don't know, we'll see. And guess what? It didn't really work as yeah. much as it did when uh, Anthony was sitting. Fuck! Why did I get into the stupid team again? <laughs> because Lynn Sanity. Why? I, I took a decade off. It was nice. Lynn Sanity got you. Everybody was all caught up in the Lynn Sanity. You can't blame yourself. And then Stoudemire is just telling people, no, I'm going to play game four. And the coach is like, really? No one has told me. He, he They had a fucking... Put his muscle back together. Yeah, he's not going to be playing anytime soon. Not only was it a, a severe cut, they had to work on his muscle. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but, you know, but your boy is down forever. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's the big sports story today. That is way bigger. Mariana Rivera. Next. Way bigger. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. We got the audio of him in the locker room. I'm really bummed out. He's pretty bummed out. We really need to play that today. ACL. Well, as they say uh, all over the news, he's shagging. He was shagging fly balls right. in the outfield. The funny thing is, uh, quickly, <sighs> so many people today go, why was he doing that? He, I, I guess he's done that his entire career. I yeah, did not know apparently. that. Apparently he would uh, do that uh, the whole time. You right. know, the, all, his whole career, he liked to uh, fancy himself an outfielder, I guess. Right. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, he went down, and it did not look good. He fucking uh, broke my knee, man. Mm. Broke my knee, man. Yeah. Uh, and they're saying very well could be a career ender. Well, well, because he said this was going to be his last year, I think. Yeah, yeah. Or, or he was strongly hinting this was his last year. Yeah. So now he's out for the year, so it's kind of crazy to come back next year. But he might want to try to come back just because I don't think you want to go out the way he did, you know, shag and fly balls in Can in uh, Kansas City. One of the greatest closes of all time, and then you end your career like that yeah. instead of, you know, getting the last out uh, in the World Series. You something, know, right? Something huge. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's a shame. So we got the audio of him in the locker room. He was <clears throat> bummed out. I bummed. Everyone's playing it today. We should get that audio. Yeah. yeah. It's a big, big story. Poor little bastard. Mm. You don't have the Heineken commercial? Yeah, I don't know which one it is. It's hard to explain. Yeah. But it's got to be on YouTube because it's a, it's just a cool sounding fucking song. Yeah. yeah. Guy has that uh, thing and he's got a very one of those thin mustaches. A thin mustache. Walking through with the broads. He's walking through and everybody knows him and, you know, yeah. loves loves having him there. You know, I don't even know what ethnic, eth, ethnicity, excuse me, he is. I yeah, I'm not sure what's supposed to is be. Is he Arabic? Is he? I don't uh, know. I don't, I don't Maybe, know. Maybe uh, Spanish. I don't know. Maybe Spanish. No idea. <laughs> uh, your father's full of shit, Sam. Very easy. Oh, it's to an do. engine song. Do what he's trying to do. Called J what? The one with Heidi who? J A A N. P C H A N. Ho? That's his name. John Pichon Ho. What? You put that in the YouTube. I don't know what the fuck that is. Pesh That's like. If this guy's wrong, I'm bouncing him out of my room. Oh, boy, that wouldn't I don't be need nice. that shit. There it is, I think. Let me hear yeah. it. That's yeah. it. This stupid thing is catchy, man. Oh, this is the long version of the song, maybe. Oh. Very old school. <laughs> Sounds like uh, Quentin Tarantino music. It's a cool beat. It is old school, but updated. <laughs> yeah. Hell, what are they, why are the credits rolling? Where's the guy, though? <laughs> yeah, this is it. I don't know why you like this. What is going on? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what is this for? Well, they use part of this for the Heineken commercial. Actually, this isn't the video of the Heineken commercial. No. But they use this music. And they use that one part. Hi to who? I like it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Why is this a movie or something? I don't know. It's just the video they made. Yeah. There's some Mia Wallace shit going on there. Sick dancing. That's all the vocals right there. That's all you get. Yeah. Said. Is it man? Yeah, Bolly, what is Bollywood? That? Bollywood? Is that Bali? Is it Bollywood? I think that's some Bollywood. Might be. Yeah, this is a scene from the 1966 Bollywood movie Goom Nam. Is the song that old? Goom Nam. Mm, I don't know. Man. Yeah, it's an oldie. It's fucking catchy as all yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah. It got my attention. Heidi, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm liking weird new, not uh, new to me. Weird new fucking. Yeah, I'm finding some cool Weir weirdo music. Like the Cramps. I know it's an old band, but fuck, I'm all about the Cramps all week long. Yeah. Yeah, man. Because that one song we play. I just played, don't like uh, the name of the band. The Cramps. Yeah, I don't like that. It hurts. Mm. I don't like Cramps. <laughs> we don't, oh, we got it. Yeah. So this is what went down with uh, what's his name there. Oh. So you were shagging that ball in the outfield. What happened? Well, I mean, I grabbed myself uh, between the grass and the dirt, and uh, couldn't Oof. pull my leg up and twisted in. Ah. Uh, Holy fuck! Got wait, some wow. ACL. Uh, torn, actually, mm -hmm. broke, and uh, some uh, meniscus also. So, did you know it was that bad as as soon as you did it? No, uh, I thought it wasn't that bad. I mean, I was walking a little bit. Uh, oh, he's bombing! But, uh, oh God, yeah. No, it's torn. 
I have to fix it. You shag balls have been throughout your entire career. You've always been known for that in the outfield. Shag to have this balls. happen, like doing this broad that, is scary. I mean, She's gonna get punched. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Extremely frustrating. <laughs> well, I mean, I won't say frustrated because I mean, I wouldn't. I don't want it other, any other way. I mean, if it wanna happen like that, well, at least happen doing what I love to do. You know. And shagging, I love to do. I mean, if I had to do it all over again, I would do it again. You love shagging. Nice. No hesitation. Nice. That sounds yeah. funny to people in England. Yeah. Reasons why it happens, you know. I mean, yeah. you have That's to like say saying, that. yeah, I like fucking. Right. Really like fucking. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. Fucking balls out there. No, you just have to. Uh, <laughs> probably do that in cricket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just right? balls. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, Stupid you know? cricket. I'm fucking some you? balls out here. I haven't talked to the doctors yet. I haven't. Uh, just they them just want him to cry. Them. That's why they continue know. to ask questions. And that's the somber voice. Oh, yeah, they're waiting for the breakdown. So your career is over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tell us how you feel about that. I ended it in Kansas City. Pray a little bit. Yeah. Before While you were shagging balls. Yeah, shag shag your balls. When will you see, Will you fly back tomorrow? No, no. I want to stay with the team. You know what I mean? Uh, Oh, that's good. Gonna be here Bomb everyone else out. Yeah, yeah. So they could all look at you and go, oh, you how about you go home? So we could watch a reliever come in and give up the fucking game. Right. Not easy situation. But As he has his leg up on something. All right. <laughs> how about leg you go home? popped up <laughs> right. on a cooler. How about you go home and hang out with Stoudemire? <laughs> You're bumming everyone out. Physically and mentally. Well, I mean, it's more, it's more mentally than physically. You know what I mean? You have things like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. You let just the team down. Uh, well, you didn't do that, sir. Because Sosa says so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, is he gone? Oh, they finally oh, got him. Oh, because letting the team down. Yeah, they finally I got, got him. him. They finally got him. One more question. Who's going to ask it? Come on, ask. Let's, let's go. Do you think to yourself, why did this happen or anything like that? No, I never, I never uh, will. Um, Second guess that, or uh, you should ask them about teammates. In the lore. Mm -hmm. You know, how, how would the teammates yeah, react? Uh, what oh, do they say? Oh, they blew it. To deal with it. Mo, do you think he'll come back to pitch again? Oh, see, there it is. At this point, I don't know. Oh, oh boy. Boy. at this point, I don't know. Do you feel you're letting your team down? <laughs> yeah, we have to face this. All, all the guys that depend on you. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that depends. Huh? Oh boy. Oh, how the rehab is gonna happen? You know? Oh boy. From uh, there, we see. Any dead relatives you want to remember <laughs> right now during this? Just anything they're trying. <laughs> yeah. Anything. I love Kansas City with two bad knees. Yeah. <laughs> From 18 years ago, I was <laughs> in Ohio with two very bad knees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a dream to become um, a major league baseball player. What happened to that? That's uh, a that's a tough dream. I don't know if that, that came dream. true, man. Two bad knees, no way, no way. I thank God this dream came true. Oh, oh, ow, ow. Oh, there's the Heineken commercial. Yeah, let me go back to that. Yeah, go dun, back to that. Ah, mm. uh, yeah, a couple going into the club. Asian people. It looks like Blade Runner. Everyone's happy to see him as he walks to the kitchen. Just wants some Heineken. It's a powerful horn section right there. There's Asian people dancing around like crazy. This is a different commercial. Is it? Yeah. Absolutely. Asian team. He helps the guy with his comb over. Oh, the magician guy, the creepy magician. He's a real hipster, that guy. Fucking hipsters. When did the hipster become like popular? I don't know. After emo. After emo? If you're emo now, you're really stupid, right? Emo is so done. So John Pahitan who Dina Asana Ho John Pahitan Ho Dani Hu Dina Asana Ho What's he saying? What's that mean? Goth. And it's a different singer. Yeah. So it must be a really old song. It is. That they're yeah. lip syncing to. E Rock is claiming that that uh -oh. song was used uh, for our Greg and Tony show jingle. Oh really? 
That's what he's saying. All right. I have it here if you want to hear it. Oh. It oh, says yeah, well, a lot of things. Well, well sure. We want so it. She certainly does. Maybe. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's close. Similar <laughs> horns. Definitely. I forgot about that lame fucking. Yeah, we, we've done uh, a lot of lame shit. Dr. Norton. God, we've done a lot of lame oh, shit. Oh, yeah. You have not. That's not lame. That's funny. Yeah, man. I, I cannot believe the temperature of this tea. It is, it is very crazy hot? fucking <laughs> like run a steam turbine hot. But they use uh, uh, very hot water to make it. Man, you yeah, could, apparently. That's a trick. You can get a lawsuit going, man. Oh, yeah. Spill that shit all over me. Let's just chill out today, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's just... I, I'm, I'm game. How do we do that? Friday chill show? I'm yeah, game. man. Just, let's just chill. chill. Okay. Oh, you had something on uh, hipsters? Yeah, what the you fuck can't is be a, a hipster? You can't be a hipster if you're a hipster. <laughs> Do you what? know what I'm saying? You can't acknowledge that you're a hipster. Right. No, no. Everything's Because these people be like, walk around and they're like, oh, they're hipsters. You're not that hip if you're in the hipster category now. See, some people do. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Some I... hipsters dress like hipsters to be ironic because they don't think they're a hipster, but they're dressing <sighs> like a hipster, they actually not realizing go... that that makes them a hipster. Hipsters never want to really acknowledge that they're hipsters. Hipsters hate hipsters. But now it's a category. Right. Yeah. And they're all in it together. Hipsters hate fucking hipsters. So, so now where are the true hipsters going to go with this? Hipster. Because, I mean, you go to Urban Outfitters or something, you could get your hipster fucking uh, outfit now. Hipster gear? Fuck yeah, you can, man. Well, the true hipsters just run off from emo, which was just a run off emo. from goth. 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 See, that's why I think I was... You on. know, by the way, who the godfather of goth was? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Anyone? Oh, uh, Anyone? Uh, 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 Cal Ripken. Uh, 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 Oh. You no, know, uh -huh. not the godfather of goth. Anyone? I'm going to go with Bear Grylls. No, uh, not Bear Grylls. Loki from Avengers? No, uh -huh. it was Edgar Allan oh. Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. Ah. Nice. The godfather of Master Poe. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like John Cusack. Yeah, he was good. Let's play, I thought it was going to be a real lemon. Let's just play weird music today. You want to play some strange tunes? I don't know. Have you heard Jack White? We can play Jack White's I love new Jack album. White. Have you heard the album? Big Is it fan weird? Of Jack White. I haven't heard the new stuff. No, I haven't it's either. really good. Have you heard 16 Saltines? Is that the, the hit there? Uh, Why don't we sample Second that? Single. Why don't yeah. we sample that track? I, let's just sample music today, man. Yeah. man. Know what I want to hear? For real? What? Willie Nelson doing that Pearl Jam song. What? Because I went to YouTube, and then, oh, of course, no. they have to have a whole video with a link to go somewhere else and buy it. I'm yeah, like, just course. fucking play the stupid song. Is it Dr. Gay approved? Because uh, all things Pearl Jam have to run through Dr. Gay. I'm hearing really good things about Willie Nelson doing the Pearl Jam song. Yeah? Which one does he do? Just breathe or? Yeah, and this is the oh, first kitten song. cam. It's Jack White. Yeah, this is an advertisement, though. Oh, boy. What do you mean? What does that mean? This would just be 15 seconds. It's being used uh, for an American Express so, commercial. So you actually hear the first but Don't part. we have Jack White in the system? He said, uh, uh, Eric said I should look it up. I don't know. No, oh, but oh, oh, we're having, I think we're having delay What's issues. What's he busy again. doing something? I think we're having delay issues. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. What do you mean we're having delay issues? We've been having some delay issues. We're just hanging today, man. Yeah. <laughs> I like Jack White, man. I love man. Jack White. Yeah. He's the greatest. Yeah. I could tell. Like, I've never heard that song, but I could tell I would like it. Why did you hear this? Like, that doesn't even really have to grow on me much. Listen to this. Oh. It's great. Oh, boy. Uh, Dr. Gay in the studio. No, Jack White. You can't okay. go wrong with uh, Jack White, White Stripes, any band he's kind of done. The Racket Tours, even. Yeah. Look at these hot girls. The flying Negro child. <laughs> what a video.
I'm digging it. God. Awesome. Definitely liking it. Absolutely. I will buy this. You should watch his uh his web stream show from last week. Oh yeah. At Webster Hall. Oh, got really? good. Gary Oldman directed it. Oh, Gary Oldman directed yeah. it. Why do we know about that? It was it's everywhere. It was, it was a very big story. Oh, I gotta I'm out of touch. I would have yeah, went to that show. Jack the whole White. thing's on YouTube. I was waiting for, like, the just haters. It's yeah. like, no, this song is White. so generic, it's sad. <sighs> Who said is that? it really? Enough, I, enough of the haters. Oh God, just the just go up. find something else, please. I don't know. Fucking music snobs. You can't just like something because it sounds cool. No, right. It's impossible. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, it's, it's generic. This is so fucking something. And then you ask them what they what, what they suggest, and they're just going to suggest whatever generic thing in their genre they exactly. like. Exactly. Yeah. I heard the first Rack and Tours album. I liked that too. Absolutely. I like this. Jack White and Dave Grohl. Sorry. Keeping rock and roll. Right. Jack White's better. That's pretty good. No. Hey man, you got Anthony Kiedis in there too. He's oh, trying to keep man. rock and roll going. Yeah. Well. And you got Mick Jagger going to be on SNL. Oh man. Posting and performing. Yeah, that's supposed to be the Rolling Stones, but they're not getting along right now. Oh, really? So, oh, fuck yeah, man. They're... Keith Richards mad at the inflatable fucking shit on the stage still? Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. they got issues, man. I mean, because it's the 50th anniversary. If In a perfect world, they're supposed to be rolling out a huge tour this summer, but they're not getting along. Happen. So now they're going to hopefully delay the 50th anniversary, even though, that, even though that'll be the 51st anniversary. If that doesn't tell you they're not getting along. <sighs> wow. You don't blow off the 50th anniversary. No. So, you know, Mick's like, fuck you guys. I'll go on SNL and do my do the stone shit without you. A lot of cash. But no one's talking about that. It's so obvious. Yeah. That's so obvious that, that the, the stones were supposed to be doing that spot. <laughs> maybe it'll be a surprise and then the whole band will come out. Maybe. I don't know. Never. If they could work it out. Woo! And everyone will scream. Yeah. Yeah. Was yeah. Maybe Keith Richards. So cool. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see White Stripes live? No. Oh, my God. No, I have not. We're braggart. Don't be I a know. braggart. They're not doing it anymore. You missed it. Well, no, but I, you know, just seeing Jack White would be, you know, good enough for me. Amazing. Yeah, I want. That was fun when we. Yes, I did. Huh? They're good. right? That was fun when we did that uh, Rack and Tours thing. Years yeah, ago. Yeah. yeah. We're just that? hanging out with Jack White. Yeah, that was that pretty was good. That, 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 that. Cool. I remember I texted Sam because Sam was was he wasn't our intern anymore. Uh, was just, oh, but, but I I knew that he was such a Jack White fan and I was like, Hey, we're doing this thing. I we, we can get you in if you want. What did he brag about? That he was what, with Scorch? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. He's like, nah, I I gotta do some uh I gotta do yeah. some pretty fucking not great some brain some some not one fake of, emails <laughs> so I miss Jack White. <laughs> God fake, damn it. Fake email. Not one of our best uh interviews, by the way. <laughs> Jack White's a tough interview. It yeah. was, it was, he's a tough interview. It's too cool uh, for the room. It was done through K-Rock. We were in this weird studio, and we didn't even know how to pronounce the band. I oh, remember were We were obsessed new. with... Uh, could you, I even said to Jack White, is it Rackin' Tours? Is it Rackin' Tours? What is this? And he goes, I don't know. Yeah, I'd be very <laughs> intimidated by Jack White. He's... He's yeah, a very he's tall. a tough interview. But still, well, very I, tall, that's not man. what would intimidate me. Oh, I, I, no, that's right. He is tall. He's very tall. He's very muscular. Intimidating. Can we hear oh. the Willie Nelson song? Yeah, sure. Uh, is it... Uh, I haven't heard it. Dr. Gay good. approved? I haven't heard it. You know, it might know. be all hype, but a lot of people are talking Pearl about Jam. this. Pearl Jam. Is he doing uh, Just Breathe? Is he trying to do a uh, Johnny yeah, Cash thing these days? Really. Have you heard the new Eddie Vedder single? It's pretty <clears> good. Oh, boy. No ukulele, right? No. I think it's an acoustic guitar. And really is good. it a Pearl Jam song or is it no, an Eddie it's, Vedder it's an song? Eddie Vedder song? But isn't an Eddie Vedder Pearl Jam? <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, those other guys could go, "No, oh, man, we're 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 Pearl Jam too." We're Pearl Jam. But as soon as you hear that Eddie Vedder voice, that's Pearl Jam. Jam. It. It's called skipping. It's uh -huh. very good. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, Willie Nelson, "Just Breathe," which is an amazing Pearl Jam song. Eddie Vedder sure loves it. Oh, he sings it a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very tired. All right, a little very country sounding. Yes, I understand that every life must end. Uh -huh. Oh boy, this will be Willie Nelson's uh, hurt song. Yeah. As we sit alone, <laughs> I know someday we must go. Uh -huh. You know what? Willie Nelson sounds exactly like he did 20 years oh, ago. Oh, yeah. I'm a lucky man. 
you count on both hands the ones I love. I don't think Willie Nelson is a good singer at all. You don't like I him? I never thought he was. Wow. He's not a singer. He, he just kind of oh, tells that unique a story. Voice. I, like, I like Willie Nelson. Uh, I don't like unique voices like this. Bob Dylan. He just sounds like a guy that can't sing very well. It's just free. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm not feeling You don't like it? it? I'm not feeling Well, you don't like uh, when they slow it down. You don't like no, slow no, songs, really, right? I don't, no, I, I, that's not true, but... No? Yeah. I don't, I don't like his voice at all. <laughs> it's an amazing song. He's sounding like fucking... He's just... Under everything, just another human being. Eddie Vedder hits this out of the park every fucking time. There's man. a rumor that... Pearl Jam and Foo Fighters are playing Central Park this summer. Really? That's just Holy a rumor. Shit. But, yeah. How do we uh, go to that show without having to wait online for eight hours? <laughs> <laughs> These fucking <laughs> concerts they put in Central Park. Does that look oh, close? Right. You got to see what happens. Crazy. People line up two days in advance just to get into yeah. the park. Because they close down like all the entrances. They just they, have like two places to yeah. get in. Yeah, they put up fences and shit where yeah. they corral you all the way to where is it going to be? At, on the Great Lawn or whatever? I, I would assume. I mean, it's just a rumor. Dude, it's but... ridiculous. Yeah. You know how many movies are going to put this song in? Huh? Oh, it's already oh, been yeah. in a bunch of movies. This can yeah. definitely yeah. go on a movie. No, Eddie Vedder knew what he was doing. I wonder every day. In the end, this could be one of the greatest Pearl Jam songs ever. Well. You don't I, think so? Uh, you could certainly I wouldn't put it in my top ten. Whoa. You, oh, it's in my top ten. Wow. Easy. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Difference of opinion. Whoa. Whoa. What do you think of that, Bobo? What do you think? That's a good song. <laughs> Did you hear Jack White's other song? What is it? Love Interruption. This is the ad again. Oh, enough with the ad. <laughs> You've heard the song. Hey, can someone uh, fucking burn this shit for me illegally? I want to listen to the Jack White stuff. Buy the album. Gary Oldman. Because free is better. Yeah, free is better oh, always. It doesn't Jack matter how White. much money you make, free is better. Now, He's go get me pennies. a free version of this. A pittance? Yes. <laughs> so Gary Oldman directed this to look like an old Nirvana video. No, Gary Oldman directed the, the live concert that they did last week. I thought I saw a director by Gary Oldman. Well, yeah, that was the ad for the concert. All right. Pay <laughs> attention. Slowly. Uh, Right. Does he got kabuki makeup on? Yeah, he kind of likes that white, white skin look. Who's the black bro? That's his bitch for his soul. Yeah. yeah where, do you, where do you find these bitches? He does a... He's doing two sets per per show on, on his new tour. One is completely backed by a female band. One is backed by an all-male band. Right on. He loves the aesthetic. Where do you find these black bitches to sing for you? being different. Springsteen had one. Yeah, he had a black bitch. Springsteen had a black bitch come out. And man, they could sing their fucking hearts out. They teach them. I don't know. Where do you find them, though? There's got to be some kind of warehouse. You think? Yeah. You think there's like a, a special school for the black bitches? Yeah. yeah. Black bitches. Black backup singers. Yeah. Do they come from the South or Harlem? Those are the uh, only two places oh, I'm thinking. That's true. Mm. Some kind of choir. I think there's a lot yeah. of Mississippi. They started in church. Church. Yeah. Singing in the church choir. Wherever there's a church, exactly. there's black bitches. Yeah, black bitches. Very cool. All, All right, man. We're, we're just going to chill today, man. We are definitely got to chill. Off. We're just I can't chilling. even talk. It's terrible. Really? It's getting worse. Okay. Well, no, nah, I could feel it, but it's also like if I start coughing, yeah. it's going to feel like a fucking spear through my chest. <laughs> really? Yeah, I could tell. You know what? Ugh. You know what we should do? We should yeah. do the cloud guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll I love the cloud better. guy. That'll make me feel better. I love the cloud guy. Uh, the video has Cludes. to be on our Facebook Cludes. page. By now, right? it, it was up there yesterday. You got to go to our Facebook Cludes. page. Cludes. Cludes. And then you should watch his other videos. Squeers. 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 This is one of the best finds from Mental Danny patient. in uh, a couple of years. Danny! One of your best finds in years. I'm sorry? Remember guy. yesterday you weren't totally sure about this? Cloud guy. This is one of your best finds in years. Fucking cloud guy. And you yeah. find good shit all uh, the time. It was funny because 
me and Travis were, were obviously going through and looking at uh, his other videos. Yeah. And uh, I guess some of the fans were doing the same thing, too, because I, uh, I was getting tweets uh, about somebody making a hue in the cloud. A hue in the cloud. Hold get bigger. Hold get bigger. Hold. Can we get play that one? Is it sure, worth playing? Yeah, yeah we could play yeah, it some more. Great. I don't want to play too much of it because I don't want it to get tired before Jimmy gets back. But right. <laughs> give us, because he needs uh, to hear yeah, that. He think. needs to hear. Give us, uh, give us one more though today. All, All right, right, I'll definitely grab one more because this guy is a great find. <laughs> Once again, here's the guy <laughs> with the cute squeer. Squeer. How do, you, how do you spell squeer? It's definitely S Q W. S Q W. You think squeer? Squeer. I don't give a fuck if we play this five times today. There's a lot of A's in it though. I don't yeah, know exactly yeah. how many. Yeah. All right, here it is again. Uh, Joe DeRose is going to help us out. Starting next, yeah. stay there. This is a weather control cloud con psychic cloud control video by T. Chase. See this cloud? I make videos where I'm able to control clouds by my psychokinesis, psychic power. I'm making this in, uh, recording this September 2010. See this cloud? I'm going to try to turn this cloud into a square-shaped cloud. Make this cloud into a square-shaped cloud by psychic power, turn it into a square-shaped cloud. Clued, become a square shape. 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 Clued, clued, become a square shape. Turn into a square shape, clued. Turn into a square shape cloud. Turn into a square shape cloud. Cloud become a square shape cloud. Cloud become a square shape cloud. Turn into a square shape cloud. See the clouds become a more a square shape? Cloud become a square shape cloud. How you feeling there, sir? Feeling all right. Kent State, I guess, right? 42 it, years ago today. 42 years ago, man. And Neil had a had, man. Neil had to write a song about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the National Guard, man. That's how they ought to treat the fucking Occupy Wall Street people. Fucking unload on them. Just open fire. <laughs> open fucking fire. Just shoot them? Shoot them. Just fucking shoot them. Shoot them in their cocks. Right in the cocks. I don't blame him. I don't blame you. And then what? Have like a song made after that? Yeah. About how great the fucking National Guard was for shooting Occupy Wall Street. <laughs> Jeez. 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 The song, the song now would be like System of a Down or somebody. Oh, yeah, be, yeah. We don't have any... Who is our Neil Young? We don't really have a... We a, don't have our Neil Young. A folk now? singer. Do we have a folk singer these days? It might be Eddie. Eddie Vedder? It might might have to go to Eddie Vedder, yeah. 
By the All way, right. Joe DeRosa's in studio. Yes. We're just chilling today, man. I know. <laughs> we're, keeping it, we're keeping it fucking low key. Yep. And his, I, uh, and his voice is a little shot and a little, a little. hoarse. It's, uh, so we're all just chilling, man. It feels it feels good in here. It's a good yeah, vibe. It good is vibe. good fucking <laughs> chill vibe. <laughs> just hanging. It's Not a, much going on. We don't care. You know, I'm, nah. I'm, I'm, I'm ill-fated. We know today. we gave him a great week of radio, so we know he could just fucking coast just fucking to the weekend. Just I'm a little, um, hang, I'm, man. Yeah. Well, I'm a little bummed out Why? right now. Well, I found out that the uh, Haley Mathers pictures are fake. Yeah. That's What's not Eminem's daughter no. uh, on the intertubes. Was uh, the internet the a buzz about this? Every, the internet was a buzz. Yeah. Um, apparently, it's some very hot chick right there. Look at that. I could have told you that wasn't her. Yeah? Why? Because uh, I remember seeing pictures of her when she was younger, like with him. Yeah. And I remember thinking... She's our. I mean, she's, uh, <laughs> we're waiting for your. I'm scared to. I don't know. What, that was going to sound really negative. I just, I just, I. She, she wasn't going to turn out that she's hot. She's a cute kid, mm -hmm. yeah. But Jesus Christ, that girl's like a, that girl looks like a fucking model. Man. Yeah, yeah. She's you like know, I'm a not, young model, right? She's knocking, awesome. So, I don't know who that is that they faked and said it was right. uh, Eminem's daughter, but whoever the fuck that chick is is awesome. It's <laughs> a great gag. Yeah. Everyone was yeah. buying into it, but Joe DeRosa is here to say that you know Eminem's daughter is going to grow up pretty ugly. A pig, he said, nah, pig, nah. pig butt faced said. ugly. That is not. That's what our I job said. to read between the lines, Joe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll fill in the blanks, Joe. You just sit there. Yeah, you relax. <laughs> we'll we'll let everyone know what you meant. We're professionals. <laughs> just get in the back seat. Let us drive this baby. That's not what You're I good. said. You're good. Yeah. The uh, yeah, but I mean, you know, man, that's uh, that girl's. Uh, I don't know. What is that? She looks like a fake. She looks like one of. The, she looks like clip art. That girl. Like that doesn't yeah. even look like a real person to me. Oh, I bet she looks like a real person in real life. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. With all the moving parts. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys are talking about her cunt, right? No, yes. And her no, her tits. No. Her tits and her, her cunt. ass and her pussy. Oh. Yeah. You know, Kaczynski was given four life sentences plus thirty years. <laughs> what? Why do they do it that way? Yeah, well, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like, and you're not getting out. Four, li well, how are you going to survive four life sentences? And then if you survive that, you get 30 years on top. Four of life sentences. <laughs> you come back from the dead, you're in jail. In jail, 14 Amazing. years. Amazing. The miracle. If a miracle happened and you came back from the dead, they would be like, get the fuck back in. That's uh. They'll lock you up. And they... if you do it again and again, you're still going to jail. That's one of my favorite Richard Pryor bits. What do you say? Yeah. When he goes. He just says, like, this motherfucker had three lives. He had, no, he, this motherfucker had triple life. I mean, if he died and come back, he got to go to penitentiary. <laughs> yeah, he got to go to penitentiary. <laughs> and then he goes, he, and then he goes uh, did my kindergarten. Your little ass know what you did last time you was here. Get the fucking penitentiary. <laughs> 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 it's the red, it's the Gene Wilder bit, yeah. where, where he talks about when they were shooting stir crazy. The thing, yeah. for, where he's wearing that uh, red suit, that. Do you know the special I'm talking sure, about? Sure, of course. I'm listening to you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I can't tell when you get... Well, I'm good. You get... <laughs> Chill out. We're chilling today. <laughs> you guys get quiet. Because sometimes oh we goodness. like to listen. <laughs> we're actually... Very rare, though. <laughs> we're actually... I mean, at times we talk all the, all over each other, but we're good listeners on this show. You what? are. You're... And we allow you guys to fucking say your shit. What? You looked so peaceful just now. I'm chill, yeah. man. It's you... chill today. I could hear that Willie Nelson song playing again. Yeah. You look oh, so God. calm. Dude. Didn't that suck? Yeah, you know what? I don't know. Who's, I liked it. Uh, Eddie Vedder's uh, version is, or Pearl Jam's version Willie is way yeah. sing. Way Willie's better. a terrible singer. Yeah, did, were you the one that said that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was like, it sounds like, it sounds like your dad, it yeah. sounds like when your dad Bingo. waltzes your mom around the kitchen and is singing to her. <laughs> that <laughs> really happened? I don't my know. dad would waltz my mom into the walls. <laughs> <laughs> At first, man. At first. Fucking row. Uh, your mom's name is Roe, too? Yeah. That's my mom's name. You got a Roe. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No bullshit. I'll tell you when... My dad's name was Asshole, as far as my mom was concerned. <laughs> hey, Asshole. We had Willie Nelson in when we were at WNEW. It was one of, uh, one of our... I'm telling you, one of my career highlights. Willie fucking Nelson He's on our show. He's got that shaky voice thing going. Remember, yeah. he, would he was just getting high in his tour bus waiting oh, yeah. for the interview, and he, he came up, and he had, he had a guitar... That had a hole in it. He's played it so much, and he refuses to change out his guitar. He would fuck it. 
He would fuck it. Yeah, he would fuck his guitar. And he had no, maybe not. He, had, he would fuck it. He had everyone sign this guitar, but he still continued to play it. So like, just legendary people that signed this thing. You, you can't even see their autograph anymore because he played right over it. Yeah, a huge hole in it from you know playing. Where was the hole? Right where you fucking strum. Oh, from from his pick. Yeah, right, right below the strings. I guess it would it would be right. Richie Havens had that in Woodstock. Oh my god, he was god. playing freedom, 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 and he had a big fucking hole in his guitar. But after that, I started getting into Willie Nelson a little bit. Yeah, he was promoting an album, I think, with Emmy Lou Harris at the time, oh, maybe, boy. maybe. And I kind of got into it for a f for a few months. All right. What I mean, about, I respect the man. What about always I'm my mind? You're always on my mind. It's that, cr like, crackly, shaky voice, like yeah. like uh, Joe said, just like your dad trying to sing a song. <laughs> oh, <laughs> terrible. Well, he's older than all our dead dads, so. But he's, like, oh, just horrible. How old is he now? He's got to be pushing 75 easy. Yeah. I think he's about 75. Oh, uh, another commercial. Yeah, you sure find all the commercials on the oh, YouTube. That was I was going to say that that was Willie Nelson. <laughs> I was, yeah, that that threw me off. What uh, you're always on my mind. Yeah, it, it, he does. Hi, it's the Bob hi, Dylan hi. thing. Yeah, Bob Dylan's another one. I love Can, Bob Dylan. Cannot sing. Not oh. as much lately because of his voice, but maybe I. Maybe I. <laughs> the piano <love> player. You. <laughs> He was old back then. Look how old he is there. <laughs> how old is he? Why is all he's got to be 30 years old easy. Is it really? 82? That's 1980 fucking two. I nailed it 30 years ago. And he already looked old. He always did just look like a scraggly fucking... Just looks dirty. <laughs> like he should have one of those, a stick with a, a bandana tied to the end of it on a train car. Yeah, he looks like, yeah he should be playing harmonica, singing Jimmy Crack Corn. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his hair, though. It's like not not all gray. His beard is gray. His beard is gray, but his hair on his gray. head 30 isn't. 30 years ago, he He's an old a gray fuck. beard, man. But he wants us, what, to throw corn oil in our in our tanks or something to drive around? Are you kidding? Is he one of those? Soy, bean oil, some kind of it's oil. Corn oil in your fucking car. But, you know, I'll he put your corn oil. He Give believes in it. He believes in it, and some of those truck drivers are fucking buying yeah. into it. When I pound down the fucking gas pedal, I want to fucking launch that vehicle. <laughs> I don't want to sit there sputtering with fucking canola oil falling out of my uh, exhaust pipe. I think the problem is there's not a lot of gas stations that are offering this service. Yeah, and I'm pumping that out. Uh, what, what kind of oil? Come on, truck drivers, help me out. You, you put some of that shit I in I think your it tank. is. It's like corn oil, right? Is it corn oil? Yeah, something like that. Says we don't need the Middle East. We got corn, and we can make it into oil. That's all you need, Jack. That's right, Jack. That's right. Biodiesel. Biodiesel. Yeah. It's what is like it made out of? Diesel and oil, well, I think. I don't well, know. No, but what kind of oil? We know oil. <laughs> it's made out of It's diesel. like salad dressing oil, though. It's really weird oil. Help me out. It is. It's corn. Yeah. Was it corn? I think it is. It's not soybean oil. Shut up. I said I'm just yelling at people. No, I'm, I'm yelling at people. Was. Hey, Joe, how was your sleepover with Roland? Oh. Um. <laughs> See, oh, Joe's boy. now in Philly for a little while. You, you yeah. went over that whole thing last time you were in. Things, yeah. Philly, motherfucker. <laughs> things going okay down there? Ah. Uh, yeah. Things, things, uh, things went all right. And, uh... My mom is recovering. Oh, well, good. Well, yeah. you weren't talking about the fact that it was your mom last time. I know. You, you were keeping but, it very vague. Yeah. You went home to help your mom out. Yeah. She's but, going you know, through a thing. I read online that Everlast left his late... He's in this new rap group, and he left the group because his daughter was sick. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, if Everlast can announce that his daughter is sick, I can yeah, announce yeah. that my mom was That's sick. Pretty, pretty. Everlast is way more famous than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, your mom had a major operation yeah she uh she had a major operation and uh she's recovering she's doing better every day and good she's on her feet and she's moving around and she's doing well they, so it all went well they get everything out yes uh, yeah oh, yeah that's so good. so all is well but you know she's still she's still gotta just get physically 100 percent strong back to and you're there to was. help out yeah and i'm there for moral support yeah. and that whole thing you're a good so, boy joe yeah you're a good you must, boy you must be yeah. an only child Thank you. i am an only child that's why you're helping i am an only child oh. <laughs> see if if you're in a family of seven like me you you pawn it off on somebody uh, you know pawn it off things happen <laughs> it's, uh, 
You wait for it's, someone else to step up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been. Uh, uh, I'm here to tell you, I waited for someone else to step up, and, <laughs> and that guy in my family is a fucking saint. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, the 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 coolest part has been getting to tell my mom like who exactly is saying how's your mom doing. Well, and oh. it was cool to get to tell her, mom. Opie and Anthony asked how you were doing you and go. said they want they hope you're doing okay. Yes, mom. Colin Quinn texted me. And oh. Said, oh, Mom, David Tell called. David oh. Tell. Oh, it's just a cavalcade it was of a comedians. Nice, it was Who, nice. Who's not on that list? Yeah, is that, that what you're getting at? That was everybody. That was That's everyone the right there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, Bobby and Billy. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. these are all. Oh Jesus, Joe. People she knows. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh Jesus Christ, Joe. How's your mom oh, doing? Jesus. Is she oh, all right? Jesus. Oh, come on, Joe. Come on, what? Huh. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, Jesus. It's fucking up. I'll tell you, the fucking banks. That's where the fucking yeah, cancers yeah. are coming from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry yeah. from the money. Everyone yeah. knows the money's uh, what's giving people disease. The yeah. money's dirty, Joe. This is, is that's how they fucking get you, DeRosa, okay? They get you in the fucking hospital. There's no gold to back up the fucking dollar anymore, okay? And you're fucked. Don't buy a fucking house. Okay? Illuminati. <laughs> fucking Illuminati. <laughs> you're on the hamster wheel, Joe. <laughs> you're on the hamster wheel. <laughs> Good. Be, be, going be part of the job. problem. Be part of the fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they've all been really uh, tremendous. Uh, and she knows all of them. She well, knows some of them from meeting them. But, like, most of these guys, she just knows uh, from he yeah. hearing of you. I you need know? to know. Were we the best, though? The biggest names? Not the biggest names, but the more the most caring out of the group. Most caring. I'll tell you, I, I'd actually... <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> uh, We're actually, the most caring, though, right? Actually, your sibling uh, was the most caring. The one that stepped up oh. in your family. He reached out. And... <laughs> well, he probably would, too. His radio show fans were really supportive. <laughs> uh, no, but actually, I, w I would very sincerely uh, like to say this on the air. Um, you're, the fans of this show and the fans of the You Know What Dude podcast and the mm. fans and just fans of my comedy, whatever, all together, the whole pool of those people, I have received... These an abs literally an absolutely overwhelming oh, amount cool. of messages on Twitter and Facebook and email from people saying we hope everything's cool. Like yeah, these know, they can be it's all right. Really fucking amazing, man. Yeah, these bastards, they're, they're good eggs when it, these pieces when of great. shit. Let me tell you, they're, they're really good eggs when they eat Let's They're talk great. about these dick bags. They understand the difference, which I like. Well, so thank I, thank you I, to anybody listening. I mean, it's right, really Joe, impressive. Jesus. All right. Oh, Jesus Jesus Christ, all right, Joe. Joe. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's what they want, dude. Joe. That's what they want. Joe. They got you connected over fucking email. They're reading all this shit. That's what they do. Oh, oh somebody's sick. Start sending fucking emails. Remember, you used to send a card. That's how you used to fucking do it. You used to hand deliver a my fucking God. card. Nobody knew where you were, what you were fucking doing. Hey. Now you're groveling, Joe. Jeez. Look at Anthony trying to yeah, not try laugh. not to fucking cough. It's, it's you right? terrible. This I am so. He's got a really can, bad sore throat. Can yeah. I speak? F I, won't, I won't. I won't. Full disclosure, but we yeah. were supposed to hang out. Tonight. Yes, we were. Yeah. I am so fucking sad about this right now Dude, that we're not going to have our fucking night. I tonight. am too. The, I uh, really am too. I just. I'll tell you. What, all I wanted to do was get loaded with you. I know. That's all I wanted to do. Yeah. Why I, don't you stay in the city? We'll go get drunk. No, I still I, get loaded. I can't get loaded. I I'm so going fucking home and just crashing. Uh, I feel like shit. I, I like. I had that stupid fucking cold, and now this cough won't go away, and it gave me a sore throat because I was hacking like crazy last night. And it just chewed my fucking voice up. Mm. You sound bad. It's it fucking it hurts. It's horse. like literally like ow. And then you drank really hot tea. I and I want, it. Yeah, oh and I burnt God. my tongue from Kenny's fucking lava that he brought me because he doesn't notice any of that stuff. No, <laughs> Kenny's a robot. Hot. hot. <laughs> yeah, it, I just knew it wasn't cold. I just. <laughs> it's BioWilly dot com, by the way, if you want to learn about diesel. Oh, great! Diesel fuel made out of uh, yeah, corn or something that like wonderful. that. Speaking speaking of money, uh, you know we're getting close to getting rid of the penny finally. Yes. Oh, it's about fucking time. Pennies are just annoying. I guess Canada is rolling out their last penny today. Yeah, and Canada then, uh, finally it, realized, yeah, the penny's stupid. They're going to phase it out in, out of circulation in a few months. And they want to do that in America, but I don't know what they're waiting for. They say it makes it, it costs more. This yeah. is why the government it fucking drives me nuts. They it costs more to make the penny than, than what than it's, it's worth. worth. Yeah. They can, the government can't even figure out how to make the penny cheaper. It's so, Literally make the penny cheaper. It's so dumb. 
It, it's so fucking. That tells crap. you a lot about our government. Well, stop making it out of fucking copper or whatever. I don't think it's made it is out. really. It's it like of? zinc or some shit. Now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. even know. It's made. It's like no copper in that anymore. Yeah, but, make it. Uh, make yeah. it out of fucking plastic or paper. Who paper. gives a shit? Nobody's going to use pennies. it anyway. You know. I, I get. Yeah. I actually get mad when they give me pennies back. At this point, I'm like, just round it up. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Round it you down. Don't give I don't a give a shit. How about Starbucks? <laughs> You're not a Starbucks guy. No. These cunts. <laughs> a tall coffee at Starbucks in New York City uh -huh. is two dollars and one cent. <laughs> Are you serious? And guess what? Oh, boy. Nine out of ten times they won't let you fucking slide for the penny. They won't. No. What the fuck are they doing? Give a penny, and, take a penny. And a lot of times I'll take, penny, the, take a penny. I'll take the penny right out of their fucking tips. And I go, here's your oh, fucking man. penny. And they'll look at me. And I go, trust me, I put a, a, a lot of money in your tip jar over the years. I don't want ninety nine cents back because because uh, because you guys have decided to make it uh, two dollars and a penny. Who yeah, does that's that? Fucking yeah. ridiculous. That's just they're fucking with you. Whoever that's works fucking... at Starbucks, you call up right the fuck now and tell me why you do that because that's so fucking it's ridiculous. Fucking Exactly, and Plus, don't and don't don't call up. Can I can I just say? Oh yes. Don't you fucking call up and say, uh, "Hey, I just work there." Right. It's not I, my rule. All, all I, Nazis march for Hitler. Yeah. yeah. I, I was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was in Cleveland, and this happened. Just the following only thing, orders, right? The only thing that was open in Cleveland from uh, six in the morning until probably two in the afternoon is Starbucks in the city. So oh, it's two dollars and a penny, right? I'm like, I, I got, I, I throw the two dollars down, and I, I have the standoff. I wanted the oh, guy man. to ask for the penny. Guess what? The guy asked for the fucking penny, really? and I went, I went, are you serious? And he what goes, yeah. Cocksucker, so I had to pull another dollar out, and then I got the ninety-nine cents. That's always good to have a pocket full of fucking change. A pocket full of ninety-nine cents. These sons of bitch bastards. Oh man. These goddamn motherfuckers. Oh, man. You know, fucking ridiculous. And then Look down to the other picture, you fuck there. You fuck. Leave it there. Just well, don't look what, at her and gawk. So, I don't even understand that you justify 201. I would rather have it 220. Jesus. I would rather pay more. Yeah. I really would. Yeah, that's just an, that's an asshole fucking Two dollars and a cent. If you, I don't even say that. Two dollars and a penny? I don't even... Two dollars and one 201, cent. Two oh one, I guess, right? If yeah. you run a register and you don't let a guy slide any... I, I, I say this. You got to let a guy slide up to four cents. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah, easily. That's a bold statement. Easily. If it's, oh, <laughs> if it's 04, once it's 05, then it's like, sorry, dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're saying it's so, uh, there's more money to leave for a tip. It's it is a, true. You're not going to carry it's that a change. a cup of coffee. But you're not going to carry that change with you. You're going to take the handful of change yeah. and then whip it into their tip cup. But you won't necessarily do that with a dollar. And I do tip, but it's, <laughs> it's more the annoyance of the whole thing. If someone makes me something, I give them a tip. This is, this, is, oh. it, this is a fucking problem, man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do a fucking yeah, Starbucks, dude. Okay. I go, Jesus. Fucking Jesus. I go yeah. to a veg vegetable uh, juice joint every fucking day, and and they're making this this thing right. for me. So of course I, yeah. I tip them every time. And you always have the older lady like yeah. grabbing her change or looking for change so so she could pay for it perfectly. Oh, I'm God. like, this guys are working for you, man. Fucking give up the change. Is there anything worse than being behind an old, I mean, and I, oh have, I have sympathy for old people, but just being behind an old yeah. person paying for something, it's and just their questions. It's a and, sure. When they go, I got the twenty eight cents, but now they have to look through that wallet that has a million fucking pockets. Oh, in it. they're it? fucking. So they're trying to figure out where their, their hands are fucking is. shaking. Their transparent uh. skin and blue pulsating veins. Their yeah. hands are shaking. They get everything, and then they get it. They pay for it, and you're standing there. Now they're repacking their fucking giant pocketbook, slowly putting shit back. Right. It takes for the whole transaction's done, and it still takes them forever. Are you like me, where you're, you get close every time to knocking the wallet right out of their hands? Oh, my, <laughs> fucking, I've, I've had, I've had these visions. Oh, I've had visions of how much time. a jaw would shatter <laughs> just hitting it. Like, imagine an uh, old person jaw. You just come around behind him, bam, clock him in the jaw. Uh, I want to knock an old lady purse out of their hands oh, so badly. Yeah. <laughs>
My fantasy is always because they'll just cut in front of you like like you owe it to them. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. like like it's my fault you live to fucking ninety eight. Go fuck yourself, <laughs> right? They'll just cut in front of you online. My fantasy is always punching them in the soft part of the back of the oh, neck. Oh wow, oh, Jesus! Right that the head and oh, Jesus Christ, John. Fucking you know, Jesus Christ, <laughs> and it just splits open and I see their brain slide out. Oh so, yeah, that's my always been my favorite. That is a good one. Everyone's saying so. There's more change for a tip, but it works uh, the opposite for me. I'm like you know. Out of principle, I'm putting the 99 cents in my fucking pocket. I always oh, yeah. dump the, that, Sorry. Is, that is a brilliant strategy, though. I throw that change into that fucking cup every time. I can't stand carrying yeah. that pocket full of fucking it's, change. And you can't do it anymore because you got like your iPhone in there and shit, mm. and, and you can't fucking just. Like dump change in with the iPhone, yeah. it's gonna scratch up the yeah. fucking thing. So you you rather just get rid of the fucking change. I got a special pocket for my phone. Do you? Oh yeah. It does. What pocket is it? It's What's my that? left front pocket. It's oh. my phone pocket. My keys go in my right pocket. You, key, you ever you ever make a mistake I, and put your keys in the oh, right, and you're like, oh my god, I just trashed my fucking oh, yeah, screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the other yeah. thing, it costs three cents to make a penny. This is what three our government cents. does. Make they can't penny. even figure that out. Oh, then how about you get rid of the fucking penny? This country just stinks. <laughs> well, now we got. You know, Jesus, Joe. Now we got to choose between Romney and Obama. <laughs> Lucky Jesus. us. Lucky us. Uh, Romney or, or just Obama? Two fucking Lucky doofs. us. Two I, goofy politician douchebags. Uh, like it's it's the way I watch people blindly pledge allegiance to both of those men. It, yeah. it annoys the fuck out of me. Like, of all the years, I wish they had some fucking redneck fucking third candidate coming in from left field. It's this fucking year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just somebody else for me to go, I like that guy. You know what I mean? Anyone like, but I, these uh, two. Uh, Anyone but just, these two. I will vote for fucking Romney, though, because I just I, I have that much of an aversion to uh, Obama. Yeah, I understand why people are going to vote for whoever they vote for, but... I don't. I, I just... But I mean, it's a lesser of two evils this, thing This great country of, of ours, support and, someone. and this is what we got to pick between... It's a, it's a dog it, and it pony show. It amazes me. Yeah. It's a dog there weren't and... better candidates? Really? Jesus, Joe, it's a dog and pony show. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I love fucking it's her. Fucking... <laughs> yeah, they tell you to go fucking vote. What do you do? You go out and vote? What do they got in the voting booths? Cameras. They know where the fuck you were. That's how they fucking do it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bert. This is the way he sits too when he's Bert. going on a fucking rant. Oh, yeah, rant when he's like on this. one of his rants, he yeah. leans way back in his chair. Like, like he's pontificating. He's holding court. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. You know the story. No. Yeah, you gotta go, go Joe. No, go. no, no, sorry, no, no, sorry. no, 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 no. I cut you off. I'm sorry. Nah, I'm obsessing about the Starbucks thing. So seriously, what you were about to say was way better. I was gonna because some asshole now is going. Why don't you just carry pennies around? I don't know when I'm going what? to Starbucks to get my two dollars. Why would you I carry, carry pennies? pennies you yeah. fucking idiot! I'll also my... carry some leeches in my fucking <laughs> yeah. pocket for when I get sick. <laughs> you fucking goddamn medieval asshole! Did, didn't you? <laughs> We're all in agreement that we don't like carrying change, so now I'm going to leave the house on purpose with change in my pocket? Yeah. My whole goal throughout the day is to get rid of my change. Get rid of the change. That's the, yeah. That is the game. If I That's come home with no change, I'm so happy. <laughs> that sounds like a Seinfeld bit. But it's real. That's all every day is. Every day getting just, rid of your change. But I, I can't justify giving them all 99 cents, so I take the 99 cents. And then guess what? I, I, I actually give more money to homeless people nowadays because of the change. Issue. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm always emptying whatever I have in my my pocket change wise to the it, first homeless guy I see. I'll take you a step further. I don't like carrying ones. <laughs> really? I don't fucking like it. It is annoying. I don't like when they build up. No, then they you need, always you need build a few up. ones to make sure you don't get too many ones back. Yep. Yep. This oh, is very Seinfeld. -ish. All right. And your ones build up because every fucking cunt wants to make sure they get a tip. Oh, yeah. sorry, dude. All I have is ones and fives. Really? Really? So you get a tip at fucking well, Wendy's, you asshole? Yes, yes. How about when you buy something in a, a, in a tip atmosphere, and they just assume that you're going to tip, so they, like, break that 10 down to 10 ones? Yep. That's when I don't tip. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. Yeah. I'm actually a really good tipper. I know I get a reputation on the show, but I really am. But when they play that, those games, that's when I fucking chisel them back and go, go fuck yourself. Yeah. I've snapped at guys before when I'm they like, start handing me... Like yeah. the ten one, I go, I go. Stop! I'm gonna give you a tip. Right. Don't give me all ones right now, right. man. Yeah, exactly. So fucking irritating, man. Right. Do that at the strip clubs too, man. Where they you like, you, you get a beer. Well, you need the ones, and then the they just right. deal all the ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
because they know, you know, you got to give it to yeah. the ladies. Well, give it for your ladies. At least in a strip club, I get something out of it. It's right. like if I tip, I get exactly. to come in my pants, possibly. <laughs> like Roland. Where <laughs> Roland made cumsies at the strip club. Yep. Did he make cumsies? Twice. Twice. He came twice. And then wanted to go to another in the strip back club room. on the way home from the strip club. He was taking girls back Roland there like Rocks. crazy in Cleveland. How much did he spend? Uh, he said like three, was it 300? Something like that, yeah. Something like that. But it's Cleveland, so you got a lot for Cleveland, money. you know, yeah. Cleveland strippers aren't really uh, demanding that much cash. <laughs> To tell you the truth. Cleveland, <laughs> Cleveland stripper. That just sounds depressing, doesn't it? He must have got full penetration for that money. Oh, so you're living in Cleveland. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm dancing. Right. I'm da I was in fucking uh, Peoria, Illinois once. Oof. And actually, I had a great time out there. It's actually a very fun town, but I yeah. went to a strip club, and I remember the lap dances. You know, they were like, to go in the it was like twenty bucks to sure. go but, standard. But I remember being annoyed. I'm like, that's how much it is in New York. Fuck yourself. That is true. You know, like period, mm -hmm. it should be like it should be seven fifty. There <laughs> is. You are right, but there is no like. There's no difference no matter where you are with, with strippers. It's going to be twenty bucks a song. Yeah. Shit like that. It's like when in the old days when you used to just buy a joint. It was a buck, no matter where the fuck you are, no matter how good or bad the weed was. It was a dollar for a joint. <laughs> you used to be able to just buy joints. Oh, I, I remember the kid in school. He would uh, the guy that would deal the weed would have his cigarette pack, and it was full of joints, and he would just open it up. It was and be a like, dollar, yeah. yeah. What do you want? And you'd look, you'd squeeze, and go, like, "Yeah, I'll take this one," and you give him a buck. I was, too, was I was too scared to smoke pot in high school. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, really I was did. constantly smoking pot in high school. I, I was too scared. Constantly. Yeah, I, was, I needed to graduate and get away from my. My home life. <laughs> I couldn't fuck that up. Oh. I was terrified of it. I knew 18 was coming. Yeah. I knew I had a fucking split. And I didn't want to ruin that by becoming a pothead. <laughs> pothead? I was such a pothead. Then when, then when I was free and clear from my, uh, from my mama, I, uh, yeah, then I, I smelled pot in college. I, uh, yeah, I was terrified of it, but I was terrified of it for like... I like look down on it. I was like, it's disgusting that people do that. It's so like I really. Oh, I at wanted it like a oh. drug. No, yeah. I didn't look down at and it. And then after like a solid two and a half years, from like my seat, from like late junior year all the way through senior year, all the way to the end of my freshman year in college, wow. of every single person I know smoking it, I was finally like, I want to try this, <laughs> and I did, and I was like, oh my, I love you. Uh, okay, <laughs> I smoked now it I every day for like four years after that. <laughs> now I see why so yeah. everyone's smoking this. It's pretty good. So you're a Rocky Horror guy. No. You were a Rocky Horror oh guy. Oh, my God. School, I hope not. You? What do you mean? You went to the Midnight Shows, didn't you? No. And acted yeah. out the fucking movie. You were oh, one of Jesus. those guys, aren't Look, you? Look, I went to the midnight premieres of all the all six Star Wars movies and the, <laughs> you know, shit like that. But I wasn't a Rocky Horror guy. I'm just bringing back a bit from earlier this week. We oh, got, what we was... hated Rocky Horror. And we finally admitted it, it to stinks. everybody that it was the most overrated thing when we were growing up. Terrible. It fucking stinks. All right, so you're on our side. Yeah. Well, that, that's the thing. They know it stinks too. You know, I mean, that's the whole. That's why people like it, though, right? I don't know. I Some don't people know, get so man. into it, and they're acting out the parts in front of the screen. It's just embarrassing. Yeah. It's the first time a bad movie got that following, isn't it? Um, wow, yeah. Cult following, as Cult they like following. to say. Yeah. But they weren't being ironic. Is that the I proper use of yeah. ironic there? I think they were. I think it was like... You think they were being ironic? I think oh. so. I think it's like, oh, it's so cheesy and gaudy that it's, that it's great. That we I can think. goof on it to make it more entertaining. They figured out a way to make spin. it more entertaining. We just thought they were all a bunch of fucking assholes. <laughs> you knew you didn't need to hang out with those people. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I just knew. Well, you, you guys would know better than me. Oh. I'm talking oh, like... we're older? Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I meant. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the truth hurts. Yeah. No, but I'm saying I'm talking like I was there. Like, was it ironic at the time, or was it really like people were actually were in No, they they're still it. doing it to this day, though. Mm. I think... You're, you didn't have kids in your high school going to uh, Rocky yeah. Horror? No, but dude, I huh. dude, I lived in Norristown, Pennsylvania. It's it was like, massive. You know, it's when not we growing up. It was massive. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people went to that stupid ass shit. I come from a very uh, a not diverse part of Pennsylvania. It was very really? there was one type of bar. You know, it's either the cover band bar or like the sort of Guido y dance club kind of bar. Or like the sports bar. That's it. That, those are your three choices. It's like there's no, 
Would everyone get off of the mill on Friday and go to the bar? <laughs> bo, 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 bo. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Billy Joel. Mm, thank, clang. We're going to do clang. this again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a whole Bob Seger thing the other day. Oh, you did? Oh, oh fuck yeah. yeah. Come well, on. What was it? Uh, uh, just... Night Moves, talking about how firm those tits were. <laughs> But we all just made believe he wasn't singing about tits. <laughs> it was it, about it, the points up high and Bob Seger is firm. And we realize Bob Seger really doesn't like the fact that he got old. <laughs> he just reminisces about you know going uh, to the woods and fucking girls and yeah. when he used to hang out and drive his car and yeah. cheap beer Ever stuff like so, that. Dad, he makes it all sound so pained. Like yeah, here yeah. I go on the road again. He sings it like he's going on a horse. <laughs> it's like oh, is it tough in your air conditioned bus with the wine? <laughs> Why did we do this? You yeah. fucking asshole! You're nailing it. <laughs> yeah, man. And his fans are like real blue collar guys losing their fucking appendages at work. Oh my god. Yeah, That's... real tough job you got there, Bobby. Uh, uh, yeah. Bobby Seeger. You know what? He hasn't seen home in a while. He's on the road. Yeah, it's a on tough the life, long man. Road. Here I yeah. go, fucking these groupies again. <laughs> oh, these blowjobs are getting me down. Here I go, a million dollars a night. How about, how about we do the? How about we do the song we're talking about, Iraq? Oh, that's great. Please, yeah, Iraq. How about I'll turn the one? page because you probably don't know. It. How about turn the page? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Metallica's version is awesome, but I, st I still uh, enjoy the original <laughs> His, just it, as much. It's an awesome song. It really is, but he is bitching a little too much. Strung out from the road. You're, you're driving 16 hours. <laughs> Oh, it's crazy. But it's crazy. But why, hold on. Let's break it down. 16 why? hours he's sleeping. He's yeah. in his fucking nice but, bed. But break it down. Why is he driving 16 hours? For what reason? To play his music, man. To play his music and fuck groupies. And fuck groupies. And have maybe a little fucking pot. He makes it sound like he's fucking trucking pink shit around the country. <laughs> right. Oh, it's right. the same old cliches. Is that a woman or a man? A lot of guys saying, like, hey, you look like a chick. <laughs> look, all right, he's got the lonesome highway. Yeah, listen to the pain oh, fucking uh -huh. vocal. Listen to the engine uh, Oh, boy, that's hard. this is bad. You think truckers love this song? The engines, dude. He's thinking yeah. about his tour bus engines. Yeah. You think about the woman or the girl you knew the night before. He's right. talking. He's just fucking some girl. <laughs> right, he's fresh right. off a of fucking. Right. He's going to have on his bus. He's gonna have a girl to replace that girl within hours. Yeah. The way they always do. Yeah. When you're riding 16 hours and there's nothing there to do. Oh, just right. fucked. Literally. You Wash your dick. You when you ride, ride 16 hours, there's nothing there to do. Let's rephrase that. <laughs> when your bus driver's driving you 16 hours and yeah, you're yeah, kind of yeah. bored in the bus. Yeah, but you turn on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's, he's on, on the road, road again. That means he's very successful, by the way. Yeah. There's a lot of bands that wish they could be on the road again. Live version? On the stage. Um, yeah. I never uh, heard of uh, this. The live version. Yeah, what's this like? I never heard that. Russian y dance yeah. thing under it. Good job. Live version. There's only two live versions in here. I don't want the live version. One from back in 72 and one from Live Bullet. I think the only version is a live version. Yeah, I think the original I, I version is right, but it's yeah, the, the live same, version though. we all know. Yeah, yeah. It's a little different, I think. Hang on. I got a I got another great one for this ongoing trashing. Wait, we should also <laughs> do, do that fucking song. What's this other song? Just take those old rags <laughs> off the shelf. Oh, old time rock and roll. <laughs> just called it old time rock and roll. Oh god! Shut your face, Bob but, Seger. But I'm more obsessed with turn the page because you just oh, realize yeah. he has an amazing life. <laughs> All right. Just take those old records off. Risky yeah. business, right? Today's music. See, he's always talking about the past. Today's music ain't got the same soul. He likes old time rock and roll. <laughs> this guy is like, if you listen to this music, you think he's gonna kill himself because he's old. I, I always think it's hilarious when these the guys from this era bitch about disco. Yeah. Because it always sounds like they're just being like, get these blacks out of the room. <laughs> I don't like the way they look. <laughs> You're right, but it sounds so fucking racist. But there's a dance beat in that song, basically. I know that's. that's you know what I mean? It's like a there's a rhythm there. That's a disco beat, dude. Uh, Absolutely, but they don't yeah. they don't want to admit that they're actually yeah. acknowledging that disco was pretty fucking huge. Oh my god.
<laughs> I got another great guy to throw on this list of douchey guys. Douchey guys? I, wait, 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 wait. I, I love Seeger. <laughs> It's funny that we broke down his song, but I don't, I don't, I don't consider him douchey. It's he's the same thing as all the other guys to me. Like Allentown is a great song, but shut the fuck it's, up. Shut it's up, a Billy. Great pop a Billy Joe, I mean, you know. Yeah. It's you know what I'm saying. It's 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 what we were talking about. It's like they're half. You love them, but you're like, oh Christ. Yeah. Why yeah. do you have to go there? Type of thing. Yeah. But. This seems like a very basic song. It was a Clang. huge hit, obviously. Clang. I love this song. But anyone could have sang this. Really? But he wrote it, I guess. So you oh, he wrote credit, it. Right. Well, dude, he lived it, dude. Oh, yeah. Did he, he live it? it? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Did he? Did he really? <laughs> he was down. All right, who's the other douchey uh, guy? Because we've done the Allentown break. Yeah. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, George Thorogood. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> we I'm get bad. it, George. I'm we get it, George. You like to drink. Oh, but he's God. a badass. But I, I wonder uh, if anyone ever called him out on being a badass. He said, oh, really, George, what do you got? Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he just keeps singing in his face. I'm bad. Oh, scotch. Oh, beer. Yeah. I like this sound, though. Yeah. You weren't a big George Thorogood fan? I like I like one bourbon once it's the same it's the same thing. Well, yeah, I, it annoys yeah. me that I Wait, like can, it. Can you go into the beginning of one bourbon, one scotch, one beer? Because there's a whole setup story, man. The rent oh, is right, I like right, that. The right. rent is laid. The rent's laid, laid and, and he's, he's got, got to all talk sorts about of problems. And you know how he's gonna fix that? Yeah. By drinking. That's right. He's just gonna drink. Yeah. Give me the beginning of this. Bad to the bone is is ruined. You can never listen to it because it's the what? like Bad to the Bone got ruined because, like, He's they did doing too many cheesy montages to it. Pauses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, they would do, like, they would do, like, a commercial for the Golden Girls, and it would be, like, a montage of Sophia saying oh, crazy things. God. and be playing Bad to the Bad Bone. Bad to the Bone, you're it's right. A, He's just doing Bo Diddley, really, right? Right there? Well, George yeah. Thurgood's just doing Bo Diddley oh, riffs, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. He's not Yeah, pretty good. much, I yeah. think, right? I don't think he's very good. What is it with guys with I don't. big mouths wanting to play the blues? Him and fucking Stevie Ray Vaughan, just horse tooth oh, fucking... Stevie Ray Vaughan. <laughs> Stevie Ray Vaughan, come on, man. I'm not uh, trashing just... his music. I'm just saying they both... Can you imagine have... what he would have... Well, he probably would have got fucking wimpy if he'd he have been lived. a Wilbury. He would stink now if he was still alive. Couldn't stand the weather? You don't like fucking Stevie Ray Vaughan? No, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm saying if he was still alive, he would stink now. How old would probably. Hendrix be right now? Not that old. No, come on. Can, can yeah. you uh, believe it or not? Not that old. Come on. Come he'd on. probably be like fifty-five. No way. No, he'd, he'd be, be a lot older than that. He'd be. I'd say seventies. I don't think he'd be in the seventies. I think 70s. Hendrix is is seventies. I don't think so, man. Look up Hendrix. When was he born? Nineteen seventy. He was born in 1970. No, he wasn't born in 1970. <laughs> I look like an asshole. He, was he fucking died. died. Oh my god. He died in 1970. Holy I shit. wish your mic was on. I go. How old's Hendrix? Uh, uh, when was he born? 1970. 1970. 42. He'd be. He'd be about uh, 75. See, 42 is uh, 75 plus uh, 70. What's wrong with you? 70. 70. Oh right. 70. Okay. 70. So, all right. So. That's not that old. Yeah, you know what yeah. though? For Hendrix, I mean, fucking uh, imagine a seventy-year-old Hendrix. M McCartney's was, that old, right? Do you know how sad it would be? Do you yeah. know how sad to be a seventy-year-old Hendrix? That'd be sad. He'd be all fucking fat and shit. Oh and my god! And he'd sit god. there on the stool, and it would be all like, dun, 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 dun. you know what I mean? Oh. It would be like stock <laughs> blues music. It wouldn't be good anymore. Tonight, it's uh, yeah, it's some shitty place. It's like <sighs> Jimi Hendrix. And you go, and people are like, yeah, man, I saw Hendrix last night. Yeah, he's kind of slowing down. Is he still good? He can still play. You know, he can still play. He can God, still play. But he's just a legend, the yeah, greatest yeah, yeah. guitarist ever, uh, because he died. Yeah. Uh, There's a couple of things coming in. Uh, the, uh, the douchiest Seeger song. Anyone want to guess it? Douchiest. I only know those two songs. <laughs> he got way douchier. I forgot about this until uh, Jason the Trucker fucking... Uh, like going. a Rock? Oh, it's a movie you talk about a lot. It's in a movie you talk about a lot. Oh yeah, or from time to time. Oh boy, Shakedown. Oh yeah. Oh, that's Seeger from uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, I that's, like that song. That's Seeger, yeah. Shakedown, breakdown, breakdown, everybody. <laughs> oh boy. I like this song. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's yeah, it's an '80s song. It is. You can hear it with that. <laughs> I never knew this was Seeger. You busted. Yeah, right. Oh my God. That, look at that picture of Seeger. He looks like the amazing Jonathan. <laughs> that is <laughs> fucking hilarious Holy looking. Shit. Look at him right there. Oh, man. 
Did you hear that? It completely changed the sound. Wow. Because it was all around him. Oh, my God. Man. Look at him right there. That's you're Seger right. You would like? never even know this is Seeger. No. No. And so he, he steps it up a little. He has, like, amazing range in his voice. He looks like a happy... That's also... That picture right there where he's wearing this, like, Nike fucking shirt that he bought at Foot Locker. <laughs> Could be a Broncos shirt, no? But, yeah. like, it looks like a jogging sports shirt. Like, when there's a guy that's, like... Like a scene, like a scene-oriented musician, yeah. like like punk, blues rock, whatever. Where there's a look that goes along with it. There's nothing sadder than when they get so old that they just start dressing like a dad. Oh god! And they're just yeah, wearing the them. sweats and whatever, and you're like, oh boy, it's so sad, man. You're like, wow, it just like takes him. it takes so much out of the music, you know. Get one of the older pictures of him, like like where he's oh god got dark hair, and we got inside look info. Right oh there. right there, he looks like oh a man, fucking badass. Oh, man. That guy was getting a lot of pussy. He was getting some oh. I'll puss off. Hey, I got a guy. We got some inside info on uh, oh, yeah, that Seager. Uh, Scott in Detroit. Go ahead, Scott. Yeah, I was uh, just in tour photography work for Bob Seeger this, this last tour, and there was a real issue with his weight and with his teeth. If, for example, I shot the tour open. I took 1,600 images. After the show, I went backstage production office we went through all 1600 they approved 10 images because if it showed his teeth or if he looks fat in the image they could not use it oh, and then and on top wait of how bad is his teeth slow down oh it's real bad bad get uh, go go, right, go I, that one I, go I, that one right there I, in the middle i want to see oh shit well that looks like he's got the fake teeth there no does he? Well, you know, he they they want they've talked to him about getting his teeth fixed and oh. he doesn't want to because he, he feels it's going to affect the way he's saying oh oh his teeth are a little you, weird. You know, but I'm sure, Anthony, you know. I mean, you know, when you sing, you're singing from the from the gut, from the throat. You're not using your teeth. I don't think that would affect the way his voice would no, sound. Maybe he's afraid that? he'll have a lift or something. And, and he's a little know. fat these days. Yeah, he put on some weight. I, I, I told management, I said, well, why doesn't he put down the slice of pizza? You know, instead of eating a, a whole pizza every day, why doesn't he see oh, the you're, you're bashing, Oh, you're bashing him to management while you're trying well, to take the pictures? Well, he's frustrated. He, he, he took 1,600 pictures. Yeah. You sound like a real business strategist. <laughs> <laughs> Ten images, that was it. How does he sound? Sounds great. He, he puts on a hell of a show, man. It's head after head after head. Right. But he's, he just, you know, I hate to say it, but he's kind of an eyesore. You know what I mean? Lose right. some weight, get your teeth fixed, and then he just maybe wow. he's a pussy again. Scott know? wants his rock stars to look pretty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, Slimless Plug. Can 2012. Can I plug? What? Can I give myself a shameless plug? Yeah, please do, because you're not going to be working for the fucking Seeger tour anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking report. You're not going to be on. You're not going to be on the road again. <laughs> uh, <it's>, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a rockstarprophotography.com. And actually, I just got shot to Bruce Springsteen up on my website. Oh, Jazz Fest. everyone does. Everyone's, everyone's got the Bruce for us. Uh, Even wait, I do. What did that sound like, you, uh, Sam? It was hard to hear, really. Uh, was it? What was yeah. it? I want to hear some uh, brand new uh, Bob Seger live. I want to see what he sounds like these days. Against the wind. Oh, yeah, he did Against the Wind, too. That's right. That's Big right. old light show. Remember those light shows like that? Yeah. And the crowd goes wild. Oh, a little deeper. Sounds like me. <laughs> I can't keep up. Yeah, yeah. It's slow. This is someone's phone. Is this a phone? Uh, there's something going on. Sounds like Tom Waits, but not on purpose. Like right. The way Tom Waits does yeah, it. I think I think those years of screaming out, fucking let's, going to Catman do. <laughs> let's go to George Thurgood and find out what his problems are that led him to drinking with that fucking landlord. Oh place. yeah, yeah. Place. Oh man, yeah. This pompous ass That's that right. have had to have the long setup. <laughs> This song setup was so fucking long. I want to tell you a story. Oh, do you? About the house in blue. I come home. That was bothering me that he says one bourbon, one scotch. It's like, why would you have a bourbon and a scotch? Yeah, and a beer. And to me, it'd be bourbon having... and. Right, and beer. Yeah, or scotch and beer. Like wouldn't the be. song wouldn't sound the same. Next Friday. Next Friday. Now, next Friday, come on, I didn't get the rent. Oh, uh, shit. Sure. Yeah, listen to that awful voice he's doing. Yeah. Out the door he went. Terrible. 
Now what happens? What happened? So I goes to the landlady. So I goes to the landlady. landlady. Yeah. I said, I said, uh, I said, uh, 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 uh step and fetch it now. I say, I say. What <laughs> fucking voice he's doing? Jesus Christ. Boy's about as sh sharp as a sack of wet mice. <laughs> Wait a minute. So let me slide it on, you know, people. Yeah. I notice when I come home in the evening. She ain't got nothing nice to say to me. Is this with the Delaware Destroyers? No. For five years. Ugh, Delaware. Exactly. He should flip those words around to destroy Delaware. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> We're admitted into the song. Yeah. yeah. Holy fuck. I said no. I, 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 we get it. You don't have the rent money. Look at this fat fucking biff. <laughs> face. He is Biff Tannen. <laughs> Holy shit, he's Biff Tannen. Yeah, look at that fucking... Wow. Yeah, yeah. I said, but I'm tired. I've been walking all day. She said, that don't confront me. Who's sitting at a concert watching this and be like, yeah, yeah, I need you to shut up. Get to the part where the band kicks in. He went out the door again. He doesn't have the red money. He's out the door again. He's going to save two minutes on this. But he's tired. It's two minutes in. He's tired. Good friend's house. Yeah, what happened there? As a look man, I'm outdoors, you know. Can I stay with you maybe a couple days? He said, oh, let me go and ask my wife. No. Uh, Come out of the house. I'll tell you, I'll tell I you. Space. I know there was no. You think like the people said, sitting there in the audience said, watching this and they know all the words yeah. and they're like, I said, I know. they're talking along with them. I bet you they're, yeah, I bet you they're all yelling it out in unison. Yeah, yeah. Two and a half minutes in. So I go back home. Oh, God, yeah, it's enough. going back home. I said, lady, lady, I got a job. I'm going to pay the rent. She said, yeah. I said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then she was so nice. Oh, story. And a boring story at that. It stinks. Was she? So I go in my room. Oh my god. Three minutes in. It's three minutes? This is this would have been a song already. I slip on out the back door. You haven't even started the song. You would have been all the way up to the guitar solo by now. Holy crap. Everyone right. at blues bands are always slipping out the back door. She uh hollered about the front rent. She'd be lucky to get in the back rent. He's he's talking like Anthony Michael Hall in that weird science scene. When they go to that black bar. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Literally it's put on. Yeah, it sounds like ridiculous the way he talks. Now he's at the bar. Three and a half minutes in. Look, man. Come down here. He got down there. So what you want? I want bourbon. Yay, finally. Oh, my God. Yeah, is that what you want? Uh -huh. this, song, this song should start right there. Right. Well, I appreciate that. This is like, this is this. That would be a good live version, a little yeah. something different. But not the, not the version on the stupid record. It's like a, it's Eight like and a half minutes long. an M. Night Shyamalan movie. You can, <laughs> like, the first time through, you're like, oh, I see what he did. And then never again. <laughs> yeah, you can't watch his movies uh, twice, huh? No. No, you not, can't. No rewatchability. No. There. He's another one that kind of fucking stinks. Yeah. No one's willing to acknowledge that, though. That's... I was really into him for the first few movies, and then I just... He lost me with signs, and then I never... He never got me back. Yeah. Mm. You know? God, that song is terrible. Ugh. Oh, shit, yeah. Story. Story, <laughs> story songs. Stories. We've done that he's on our show. Tell a good fucking story. Uh, he's tell telling a story. We, we hate I hate story, story songs. songs. That fucking Alice's restaurant. Oh God! And then I went, and there was Alice sitting at the restaurant, and I went, all right. In real I time, hate. he's in, telling in the story in real time. Oh man! And that, that other one, I went, and, the, and, the, and they cast off the bow line and went out. Wait, but that's 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 uh, Edmund Fitzgerald. No, I thought that was uh, Rick of the Edmund Fitzgerald. I thought that was our boy uh, Sundown. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Another one, yeah. Gordon Lightfoot. We like Gordon. Lightfoot. Gordon. We, I thought Gordon we were, all, Lightfoot. We're, we're all on the side of Gordon. Under in the room where you do what you don't confess. Ooh. <laughs> What's going on in that room? Ass sex? <laughs> Fucking, what are you, blowing men? Do we have more? We don't confess that. <laughs> we have more story songs. <laughs> Any more story songs? Uh, Play uh, stories. Stories. How about uh, Nick? Uh, mine. Uh, oh, dude, Tom's Diner. 
No, not Times Diner. What's that Susan Vega? My name is Nico. Oh, Luca. Uh, Luca. <laughs> My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. I live uh, upstairs from you. Right. Guess then, you have never seen me before. And everybody always goes, anytime you talk about a song, somebody goes, you know that song's about rape. And it's like, is it? Well... Rape is really fucking boring, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I thought rape God. was violent and terrifying. Uh, <laughs> it's really <clears throat> slow-paced and fucking boring. I thought she just got fucking uh, abused. I thought she was, like, getting punched. Like her, I thought her family was uh, yeah, like, right. like physically abusing yeah, her, but not uh, sexual. I didn't know it was sexual. Is that how you talked about getting abused? Would yeah. you at that fucking medium pace? Yeah, yeah. You'd be like, I, I didn't get fucking punched in the face. It was, I swear. <laughs> she, she makes My it all nice. My name is Anthony. I live on the second floor. I hate my dad's throwing spaghetti at the wall, I, I, and I have a stomachache. I hate I, those songs that uh, you, you never realize it was a horrific, horrific, fucking tragic song. It just uh, sounds yeah. so nice, and then someone has to point out, you realize what that's about. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a few of those. James There's, Taylor tells it. He's a story guy, too. Yeah, that's true. James so. Taylor tells his little stories. Can't get into them, man. So does uh, uh, Paul Simon. He's no, a story but, guy. But, but he doesn't like tell he sings it though at least. Well, yeah. I'm talking about these guys that they're they're kind of making believe they're singing but oh, so that's a good one. Harry Chapin. Oh, Harry man. Chapin is a storyteller. Oh, he's that Harry motherfucker Chapin. will spin a yarn. <laughs> what about that dumb taxi song? Oh, my driving God. in my taxi, taking tips and getting stoned. <laughs> It was raining. <laughs> it was raining. raining. He gives us a weather report. Right. <laughs> one more fair to make my night. Oh, he just needed one more fair. No, you don't. No, Harry, you just go shut home. your fucking face. She said, Harry, keep the change. Oh, God oh. damn it. What is their oh. obsession with the common man that they abuse on a regular basis? <laughs> what is their fucking obsession with it? You don't think he's giving good tips? Well, uh, he's not doing anything these days, but when he was alive. And he oh, my God. He died in a fiery fucking car accident on the, on the Long Island Expressway. Expressway. Uh, yeah, he lost had, his head. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah. It was right. Tractor trailer versus. Guess he should have taken a cab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was geez. driving home. How old was he when he died? That's terrible. I don't know. I would guess 42. I could swear I seen her face. 38. Uh, was he see, drunk? He looked a lot older than so. 38. He picked up his chick, his ex. He picked up a chick that he used to go out with, apparently. And, uh, and you know, she's very successful, and he's just driving a hack, man. Yeah. And, you know. So it is, they had bro. a little chat about old times. He's just thinking about old times. Who gives a fuck? I know. I just picture every one of these guys getting, a, you know, like a fucking blow job <laughs> as another woman spoons cocaine into their nose. <laughs> and they're just leaning back. I, I think I'm gonna, <laughs> next song's going to be about taxi drivers, yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah. What do you think, guys? Right. This whole fucking oh, team of yes, great. man. That's fucking brilliant, Harry. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Fucking get out of here. You don't think they're the, just like the common man? <laughs> you don't believe that? And this is such a romanticized version of a cab driver. He's the white guy. Oh, he had this this uh, hopes and dreams and this life before, but somehow he ended up in a I, cab. Well, I told uh, one of the stories on the air. I had a cab driver that basically was telling me he was going to kill himself so his family could collect the insurance money because his life sucked that bad. And he's driving me, and I'm thinking, are you going to kill me while I'm in the fucking... Jesus Christ. You're going to kill man. yourself while I'm in this fucking thing? It was the most depressing story ever. And if you talk to these guys, they work 20-hour shifts, and then they have to get back in four hours to do another 20-hour shift. Yeah, it's brutal. And, and if they take a day off, they lose their spot. Being a taxi driver sucks. Yeah. Oh, that's right. He's going to be a job. pilot. What? He was supposed to be a pilot. So what happened? Well, Very chafing. He his eyes are bad. He took off to find this guy. He started smoking weed and doing drugs. Oh, boy. that's what happened. Oh, I got it now. Is he gonna turn his life around by the no. end of the song? No, she gets out of the cab and they—that's it. They don't have anything in common anymore. They don't have those hopes and dreams. She made something of herself. He didn't. How about uh? How about uh? What's his face? Uh, bad, bad Leroy Brown. No. I like the Jim Croce. Jim Croce is another storyteller yeah, guy. Yeah, Croce's one. But no. that time in the bottle will make you fucking ball your eyes out. Yeah. What the I fuck is that about? Time in a bottle. bottle. <laughs> the first thing that I'd like to do is to save every day till eternity passes away just to spend them with you. Yes, I, 
some, some of these songs and singers will put you in that part of your brain that's just like that area you don't want to visit, all that like that oh, creepy area. Yeah, like, yeah. Like the Carpenters yeah. would put you in that area. I don't yeah, like it's this. deeply depressing. I'm like, ah, fuck, yeah. I don't want to listen to this. It always like, makes me feel like when I was like six years old and yeah, I don't yeah, know, yeah. something weird about... You're learning about death the first time yeah. and you just can't even it's come terrible. close to wrapping yeah. your mind around it. It's like, why do you need time in a bottle? Isn't time, like, endless? Yeah. Don't we all... Oh, wait a minute, that's right. Oh, that's this right. Is someone singing about fucking... There oh. isn't enough time to oh, do anything. Oh, that's right. He's basically oh, telling it. everyone that you're going to just get old, forget everybody, yeah. and die. Great. Oh, oh. The cat's in the cradle of the and silver, the silver, silver you know, spoon. All that shit. Little yeah. boy blue and the man in the moon. Oh, God. And the, 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 the sun turned out to be just like his dad. Oh, did you? Oh, did, uh, uh, Awful video, this is. Jim Croce. What about that? Uh, we had... We had time. We had, we had joy. We, we had, had fun. Joy, we had, we fun. had seasons in the sun. And that sounds like a nice little pop song. It's like about a guy dying. Oh really? yeah. And this is basically his last fucking day. What was that other something? <laughs> Goodbye, my love. It's hard to die <laughs> yeah. when all the fucking shit is in the sky. Right. What song yeah, is this, that? This one. Yeah. This one's terrible. It's the same song, I believe. Yeah. You know what I thought this was for a second? What? Wonderful Christmas time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Simply, Simply having. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to these that words. Is. He's saying goodbye to everyone. He's dying. <laughs> Jesus. This is terrible. <laughs> Who is this? Terry Jacks. Well, I knew that before really? you fucking whispered it in my ear. You rock. I know music. All these songs sound like they'd be the soundtrack to... Uh, like Harold and Maude, like that kind of movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. 1970s. Black comedy, kind of yeah. dark thing going on. Like a Heartbreak Kid. You know, all those uh, all those old 70s, late yeah. 70s, like sort of dark comedies. What about What's His Face? Out of Time. Great. Do, 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 do. He's out of time. The guy that sings Toy Story. Goodbye, Papa. Papa, please pray for me. Yeah, Randy oh. Newman. Randy Newman. He's another story guy. Yeah, yeah, he loves L.A. <laughs> why, why is this guy dying? Guy. Does anyone know? I don't know. Is it the cancer? Why did Jim Croce die when he was 30? Yeah, plane, plane crash. crash. Joe, everyone knows he was that. another one of those plane crash guys. What about Joe Cocker? He's not really a storyteller, is he? No, I don't know. I, I just always, I'm thinking of him because of the Wonder Years song. Yeah. Who else uh, told horrible fucking stories? I think I got. You know how long Bruce Springsteen's, Bruce Springsteen's been around? Because we were talking about it yesterday, Ant. How long? Guy tweeted me and said, I, uh, I was watching the Wonder Years, and they were going to a Bruce Springsteen concert. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ. And then Christ. he goes, and I checked your Twitter, and you had that picture of Springsteen, and he realized, holy fuck, this guy's been around a long time. Jesus. We all know he's been around a long time, but that puts it in perspective. Jesus Christ. The Wonder Years. Oh, That's oh my insane. God. Who did that song, Run, Joey, Run? Logan's bringing that up. Run, Joey, Run. It, it was a story about, like, that. Joey, yeah. apparently, um, what was he, fucking some chick? What's the story behind that? Do you do you have that one? Huh? Got it. Okay. Okay, here it is. You want to pot it up? Computer. Computer. Oh, sorry, sorry. Computer. Run, Joey, run. I don't know this. Who does this? Uh, I don't think I know this at all. This one. David Geddes. It wasn't his fault. He means so much to me. Ugh. Ugh. I think the father like. Every night, the same old dream this sounds super like uh, you were saying earlier with Tarantino. This sounds like a Tarantino. <laughs> you know. The sound of Julie's cries. She called me up late that night. Does the video have fucking iPhone in it? What's going on? My dad and I just had a fight, oh. and he stormed out the door. Something goes on. I think the father kills him or something. Oh my god. Or he kills the father. I don't know. It's a horrible song. Oh. <laughs> Run. Oh god. How awful. Very dramatic. And then this whiny piece of shit. Dude, you want to see something sad? I thank you for that. Thing. Can't listen to this anymore. You want to see something uh, sad? Huh? You, should, you want to see something sad? Wow. Look at her. Look at a recent clip of uh, Yes. 
Remember how awesome Yes was in the 70s? Uh, yeah. Look at a recent clip of them. Bad. Oh, they're just so old, and they look so I think fucking it's, lame. I think it's Steve oh, Howe. God. Looks like, literally like a corpse with hair. Oh man! Like like like, like the like, crypt. Can you pull? Crypt oh wow! Yeah, look. Can you pull Is that video? Steve Howe on the left? Look at how fucking. They were all cool back in the day. We need uh, we need the singer though. We need the. But guy aren't that's... they like split up? So one one is calling themselves. Uh, oh, fuck! What do they call themselves? Big keyboard setup. I think this is the fake yes. Yeah, this is it. We need the guy that actually sang Roundabout and all that. Well, that's yeah, John get a Anderson. real hit. Hey, hey, Sam, find one of their hits. <laughs> Sam has no idea who this yes, band is. Yeah. Sam, name one yes song, please. Yeah, go ahead. Please. Except for the one, one that you're just one yes fucking. Song. You could do this. No, I can't. I don't know any yes hits. You don't? Are you panicking? You do. No, they I'm got not. a big one, buddy. I don't know. You know, right? They got a real big one. That I'll you would probably, know. I probably know the song. Ready? But... I'll give you. I'll give you a hint. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Tom Sawyer. <laughs> Tom Sawyer. That's Tom Rush. Tom Sawyer. Oh. Rush still fucking rules. Oh, Rush yeah. holds still. Yeah, I like Rush. Uh, no, no, not Tom Sawyer. Listen to me. <laughs> You're in Tom Sawyer there. <laughs> so no. I'll give you a movie hint. Okay. The breakup. I don't know. Sad. Oh God. What other hints can we get? Maybe we're just really old. Um, no, 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 no. Maybe we're just old. Uh, Lose yourself. Ah, uh, I mean, I know that song. That's Say, yes, that's, that's okay, yes. but that's like a goofy song. Yeah, because like they got really shitty. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, was like, that was like late eighties. It's been around a long fucking. They time. were. I yeah. mean, they were such a good art rock band in the fucking seventies, and it's like I've never seen a band slide off like worse than Yes. Double album, you'd fucking get or the Chicago. albums all that artwork oh. in there. Oh, Chicago, yeah. please. I, I, oh, I, I saw Owner of a Lonely yeah. Heart. I, I saw. There you go. I saw Yes in, in Buffalo back in I think around nineteen ninety, and John Anderson, and I didn't believe it at the time, but I saw it with my own eyes. He likes. He likes sleeping on the stage. <laughs> So the venues would allow him to sleep overnight in a tent on the stage. A that was his thing that. for a while. I don't know if he's still doing it. Uh, why? <laughs> I saw the tent. Why would he do that? I don't That's a know. Weird thing. Man, that was John Anderson. Dude, they... remember he sang for us in Vegas in front Did of like he? twenty people. Really? Acoustic. He was uh, involved with XM in the early days. And they brought him out to CES. You don't remember this? Oh, right. Okay. Yep. yep. And, and CES. in front of, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 people, he's uh, singing acoustic guest songs. He, uh, I saw, I watched a, a concert of theirs from like 2010. And he lit, like, he literally, he's so old. And, and, I mean, he's not so old. He's just an old, you know, he looks well, like a dad be, now. He's got to be close to 70 as well. And he's wearing, like, this ridiculous robe thing. Oh, like, God. Yeah. That's and he's him. dancing like this. He's going, he's going like this. Like, oh, during the song no. as he's singing. And it look he looks like an old woman, like, conducting a church group or something. Oh. That's and you're bad. like, you're fucking yes. What are you doing? They're... You sang Heart of the Sunrise. What the fuck are you oh, doing right now? They're old. Oh, he's 68. Yeah. He, uh... Rush is almost, Rush is pushing 60, and their new album, I heard three tracks from it, is fucking ridiculous. Really? A few people have said that. Amazing. A few people have said that in the really. last few weeks. I can't believe it. Yeah. Like, it's unfucking real. They're, they still uh, rip, man. Yeah, I, I, well, I'm kind of obsessed with these songs that you think are nice, fun loving songs. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, it's cool. You gotta... And then they're just, you know, there's just nothing but tragedy in the song. Yeah, yeah. Tom Jones. Uh, Jay in Staten Island. What do you got on Tom Jones? Delilah. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Delilah's. Uh... He's, he's stalking his girlfriend, and he sees her, he sees him screwing around. And then uh, he leaves. She comes up and see and sees the, the girl. And the girl laughs at his face and he stabs her. I yeah. like this song. This is a good song. <laughs> he yeah. stabs her. Tom Jones was the shit. Did you hear that masterful? That was masterful. The way he said, and then he stabs her. The way you faded the music in. Ah, it's perfect. That that sounded. That was perfection. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes we just luck out. This uh, this guy's voice is fucking great. Did you know L that? Listen to the power here. Listen right here. He's just got like that fucking kick-ass voice. Oh, she's. <laughs> he sings the way I always imagined Zora would sing. <laughs> 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 
Wow, wow, wow. There's horns. Mexican horns. Uh, what happened? Yes, my parents had Tom Jones albums. Yes. The old stuff is, is I love that old shit. Uh, the old Tom Jones stuff, great. I know I did this was about stabbing Oh, yeah, he, he a comes bitch. in later, later no on. He, he catches her fucking around. Yeah. He goes to the door, and she's laughing at him. And he fucking just stabs her. And then he waits for the cops, I guess, or something. <laughs> oh, something. Mm, killed her. Uh, another story song coming in. Billy, so don't be on the floor with Jesse Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, don't be a hero. Billy, don't be a hero. Yeah. Is a story song. And then there's the the Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahassee oh, Bridge God. or something. <laughs> Isn't that the Vicky Lawrence song? Yes, right. Yeah. It was a Vicky Lawrence. She also sang "The Night the Lights Went Out." In oh, Georgia, that's right? the one. The that's night, the one. Yeah. Right, that's yeah. the one from. You know, it, it's the first time I realized that she she killed the husband. Right, I thought, right. Hey, what the fuck does he say at Reservoir Dogs? What's he say? Yes. I, no, thought, I thought Annie shot the husband. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the line? All right. Whoa, this guy's groovy. <laughs> Is there any wow. way to find out what he says in Reservoir Dogs? Yeah. Yeah, we'll f I thought to find that. I th I thought Annie shot her. Annie shot. Her. No, God no, no. It, it was the, the other. It was. <laughs> yeah. No, she was warning him. <laughs> Do you remember that? Opie? Yeah. I really don't. That diner dogs. seed. Yeah. I can't, I'm, I'm driving over here. I'm listening to K Billy Super Sounds of the 70s. <laughs> K <Yeah>? Billy. <laughs> the night the lights went out in Georgia comes on. Oh, that's a good song. And they're like, oh yeah, that's a good song. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a good song. <laughs> yeah, it's my first time I ever realized that she's the one that killed a <laughs> whatever the fuck the guy's name is. God damn it, that's driving me crazy. Uh, that's, no, that's the uh, that's, that's the it's famous. It's a diner scene. Fucking scene. You ain't gonna get that, that one. That diner scene is amazing. Oh, uh, it's the the fuck fucking best. Uh, <sighs> now you gotta watch this movie over the weekend. There we go. That's the tip. That's tip. I don't tip. I don't tip. Uh, there you go. Dining with Reservoir Dogs. King fucking clip on time. The AV Club travels. Uh oh, it's commercial. Dude, they're they're the worst with these commercials. Oh yeah. Oh no, that's bullshit anyway. Oh, it's oh bullshit. boy, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Oh, yeah. You're bullshit. No, no, no. All right. Bullshit. No, this is uh, no. That's a dress. Hey, I'm just following you. It's the, it's the, it was the T-Mobile girl. <laughs> She was a sort of her commercial. <laughs> but uh, I'll give you the tipping part. Yeah. Uh, we could maybe get it after the break. All right. It's break time. Yeah, we'll take a little break. Joe, are you promoting around. anything besides uh, good health for your mom? Yes. You are? Yeah. What do you got? Well, a cup, two things, if I may. Uh, at, well, t Memorial Day weekend, I got a lot going on. There's, uh, I have three shows at Caroline's that Memorial Day week. Uh, the Wednesday before, the Thursday before, and the Sunday before, I'm doing headlining shows at Caroline's. Um, so please come out to those. And the web series pilot that Anthony was in oh, that yes. I shot that w that actually comes out that week as well. That's nice. coming out that week. Nice. So, um, so I'll have more details on that to come. But it's going to be on the Warner Sound, which is Warner Brothers Records' new YouTube channel. Um, so that week, there's a lot happening. So come out to those shows and watch that when it all happens. Please. Yes, very good. All right, we're going to break Psyched. here. Chop chop. This is the Opie and Anthony channel. <laughs> Serious XM. Let's see how this Can I have comes the paper out. Towels? All right. They're right there. All right, here we go. I got a little break. Ah, oh, this is nice. This is a story about a man. And he always was so lonely at night. But his voice was rowdy. You can hear it all through his train station. And I'm gonna sing this one. This is about Tippy Toe Tommy. Let's go, while we're young, while we're young, while we're young. It's late at night. And I got nowhere to go. 
Got Joe DeRosa hanging with us today. Thank you. And uh, we're just chilling, man. Yeah, man. We're just, just chilling. Hanging loose. Trying to get to the weekend like loose everybody show. else, man. Just ready to fucking <clears throat> get some dick. I just I had a great coughing fucking episode there, and I don't even know what the what? fuck that was. Uh, oh, wait, what? <laughs> I just, I just slide it in. That was good. <laughs> I just sliding it in, all right. I didn't yeah. even notice. <laughs> oh uh, we got the tan mom. The tan mom. You, you don't know about tan no, yeah, mom? Yeah, with the daughter. Putting her kid in the fucking oven. Yeah. To get it uh, tanned. Yeah. Burnt well, the camp. Are they going to be able to prove that uh, the kid went tanning, tanning? Uh, Well, um, mom's she, saying that mom's she just got a no. sunburn uh, from being outside. Being outside. and uh, But the kid said, yeah, I went tanning with my mom. And uh, the mom is a fucking psychopath. Uh, she, she's she got this tan that's just bizarre. She looks like... She got frostbite on her face. That's <laughs> yeah. how bad it is. Yeah, she don't look good. It's well, not a nice tan. She says you're all just jealous. Yeah, you're look, all the, just jealous. If the tanning salon had no rules against the kid going in, what's the problem? Exactly. I don't see how that's uh, really, I don't know, is that abuse? Because uh, they're, they're, no, it's they not. Charge People her. have to stick their fucking noses and everything. A, a six-year-old in a tanning bed? What's wrong with you guys? Well, listen, I'm not saying I don't give a fuck because I don't know yeah. these people, but it doesn't sound too fucking healthy. I'm not saying it's good to put a six-year-old in a tanning bed, but I'm saying, like, if the tanning salon didn't stop it, I guess clearly there's no I, rule against it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it all depends. Too. I, I, you know what? I might just change my opinion on, on the spot. Like, you know... It, Kids are very curious about everything, so you go to the tanning salon, she gets the full fucking tanning thing, and maybe the kid's like, oh, you know, and the, all right, I'll put her in there for a minute. You now know they, what I mean? Maybe a minute just so she can check it out. I could see something like that. They fucking certainly. let the kids run around the beach and shit yeah, and get yeah. sunburned, you know? It's... Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, yeah. It's it's really no it's really no different they, from that. They did a whole suntan thing on the news yesterday. You know, we're supposed to be wearing suntan lotion all year round. Really? To be safe. I don't buy that at all. And they say that uh, the FDA doesn't acknowledge uh, waterproof um, tanning lotions. That's really? all bullshit, too. What does that mean? The FDA doesn't acknowledge that as a term, waterproof. Oh, because it comes off. Yeah, but these, some of these companies, you know, burnt. they make a lotion where they say <laughs> waterproof or whatever. Water I don't even resistant. wear it in the summer. When no, I go to the beach, I, I, I rarely wear it. Rarely do. I just fucking tan. You're lucky, though. You got the darker skin, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's what I got, man. I've been sunburned once in my life, ever. Really? Once. Why? Why? Why only once? It only happened once. I don't know. But you don't wear lotion. I know. What do you walk around in a parka? I uh, I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't. Even, I'm more perplexed by why it happened one the one time than why I don't get. Because that's how much I don't ever get sunburned. So the one time it did happen, I'm like, that's weird. You, Why'd that happen? You've never had it so bad that you can't take a shower? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the one time the I had worst. it was bad, but I don't know what bad <clears throat> is. So to me, anything would have been bad. So you, know? you choose not to shower for at least three or four days? Yeah. Oh, my God. Really? Uh, you've never had it that bad? No, I only had it the one time. Oh, it's brutal. <laughs> is it like having, like, poison ivy? No. No, it's, I don't mean, uh, like, does it feel like that? It's, it's like mean, having extremely dry skin. <laughs> It's like drying and tight, and it, if you smack it or scratch tight. it, like sometimes you forget oh. at first, and you're like, oh, I got an itch, and you'll scratch your arm, and then like five seconds later, this deep fucking pain just sets in. Brutal. Oh, that's really weird, that delay. Jersey State Law can't tan under 14. Oh. But I'm thinking if, if it's like a bring your kid to work type <clears throat> of situation where you might let bring him try your kid it. Bring to tan. You know, just try it yeah. out. Just yeah. Yeah. I could see that maybe. Well, why did the salon let the kid in? We don't know. Yeah, exactly. I, have they talked Maybe to... the mom was saying, like, oh, my kid's going to sit here in the room, but not in the tanning bed. Oh, uh, okay. 
That yeah. And that's what the mom is saying, that she well, took her to the tanning salon, but not we, in the bed. And I'm sure we could do a whole bit on people's kids getting them in trouble because the kids uh, can't yeah. can explain themselves. They don't know how to shut the fuck up. They can't explain themselves yet. So they'll say kid, one little thing. It's like, what? This kid went into school, right. and one of the teachers noticed the kid had a sunburn and said, what happened? And the kid went, I went to tanning with mommy. I went, yeah, and, and she said she went in the tanning booth and everything and, and got uh, burned. And then, the, of course, the teachers call the cops now, and you're uh, in fucking trouble. They call the cops for everything. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It's ridiculous. I, I, I thank God that, uh, or not God because I don't believe in him, but uh, I thank whatever that uh, I grew up in a different time than this because yeah. I remember my mom... <laughs> She was like, I was, I was going up the stairs, and she was like tapping my ass, be like, you know, Ooh. speed it up a little bit. <laughs> and I put my hand back, like we were, but we were joking around. I was really young, and she accidentally <clears throat> broke my finger, like she swatted oh, it by accident. You know, but it was an accident. I knew it was an accident. Yeah. So, and you know, but I went to school with the cast on, and they were like, "What happened to your finger?" And I was like, "My mom broke my finger." But like, because I didn't know how to say it right. <laughs> right. Yeah, of course. And that would be dumb. enough to call the cops now. Yeah. Like, thank God they were like, "We know that your mom didn't." You know. Yeah. They, like, took a minute. And but now it out. child welfare would be there, and the cops. So and, ridiculous. And you wouldn't yeah. be able to explain how the broken finger happened. Nope. So to anyone looking in, they're like, "Holy fuck. fucking police your state! Mom sucks." Miserable people that have nothing really better is. to do but fuck with other people. It's they're, they're just fucking miserable. Well, here's the tanning uh, lady. Yeah. She's saying you're all jealous that she looked good. <laughs> Why you? I would never, never put my daughter in a tanning booth. No, I believe you. We go out shopping. Yeah. That's what we do. do I don't think... want to hear any more about this. And anyone that makes, it, any mother that makes, it, makes an accusation about me is not a mother because I'm a great mother and I would never do that to my child. Do you think there's some kind of witch hunt out against you? Yes. Yes. Why do you think that is? There's somebody out there on my whole life that doesn't like me because they're jealous, they're fat, and they're ugly. Hey, are you going to stop going to salon yourself or are you going to keep going? <laughs> she sounds drunk, too. She right? does. Yeah, She's I like know. slurring. I, I don't know if she is. That She's a be... disaster. That'd be the bigger concern to me is that she's possibly fucking inebriated. Yeah, she look th that that look is frightening. Yeah, she she's looks like dog so shit. tanned, but it's not tan. It's like it's leathery. Yeah, you see those leathery women at the beach. Oh my god, she looks like sunburnt. Yeah, sunburnt. Just I think Ann nailed it. She looks uh, frostbite. Frostbite. She had frostbite, <laughs> and that isn't even the darkest. I've seen pictures of her. Oh, are you going to stop going to salons yourself? Or are you going salons. To keep going? Who's that lady clapping? Going, you go, girl. Oh, Did, really? Man. Someone said that? Yeah, you can hear what she goes because they're jealous because they're fat. They're ugly. There's some lady clapping. Going, you, you go, go girl. girl. Mm. That's great. Mm. That's hilarious. That's wonderful. Uh, I know we, we're moving on from music, but um, masks, masks. Uh, underscore menace writes ever hear how much smells like teen spirit sounds like Boston's more than a feeling I've heard this over the years. Yeah, is there any way to, to mm. go through that really yeah. fast? Uh, is there maybe a YouTube clip or something that kind of compares the two? That would be nice Something like that like an a B it kind of thing. I'm not feeling it. I don't think that it sounds I, like I'm not feeling it at all. I know Kurt liked Boston the, 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 he was into all that type of uh, rock and roll when he was growing up. But the story behind Smells Like Teen Spirit is they said they were like, it sounded so much like a Pixies song to them that they uh, that they almost didn't want to put it on the album because they felt like they were ripping off the Pixies. Oh, really? And they said when Butch Vig did the mix, it was different enough that they were like, all right, whatever. And then it became this fucking ridiculous. Oh, was there a... Oh, what, did they do it live or something? Oh, hold on, what does it go back up? Is this worth playing or? This works. This is a good. This works. All right. Thank you. Okay, it's Kurt. Is this from 92? Holy shit. God. <laughs> 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 
that's clear. Yeah, okay. that's. <laughs> Just, nah. You could sing this I song over it, but it. yeah, I was pretty underwhelmed. A little bit, also, yeah. exactly. That There's was a underwhelming. Something there. Yeah, you were able to fit the words in, but yeah. the music didn't really sound like it. Uh, yeah. I want to hear some of Jada Pinkett's uh, stuff. Do you have that? Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, boy. Right, this, this is, is a rough. This Joe is a was, what's the story on this, Joe? You told us during the break. She's got a metal there. band called Wicked mm -hmm. Wisdom, and, mm -hmm. and like they she they go around, and she she does not have it announced that it's her. Uh -huh. You know, like on the, like the, on the clips I've seen, at least, on the late night shows and stuff. This is from Letterman, and I, I, I believe he just says, he just introduces them like this band. Really? Then it's confusing, because you're like, this band stinks. <laughs> Who is this? That singer looks like Jada Pinkett. <laughs> <laughs> And no one knows. <laughs> There's also a lot of comments about waiting for about two minutes into the choreographed headbanging. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really cheesy. Wow, a lot cheesy. of dislikes. But she's like a 40-something-year-old woman, so it's like, I, yeah. you know, I get it. What are you doing? Know. Yeah. What so. is she doing? Oh, boy. What is she doing? This would get into the Black Rock Coalition, by the way. Uh. Oh. This is embarrassing. Yeah. Something inside of me. Oh. Terrible, right? Uh, this oh. sucks. It's terrible. It's so weird. When is um, the choreograph? Isn't, isn't that the chick from the Matrix? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's and she's so fucking hot, and it's like she's like making herself look so unattractive. Like everything she's doing, it's like, are you trying to not look? Uh, hot? She looks boyish, oh. right? Oh. It's not even to me like how she's dressed as much as like these movements. It's like it's like it, it's they're, yeah. What are you doing? Wow, she's really oh, wow. pissed off. Oh, the choreographed head banging. Oh, oh man, this is embarrassing. Jesus Christ. Oh. You gotta work really hard to make music shittier than your husband's music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would rather listen to. The men in black fucking rap. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh, this is oh, embarrassing. My God. They're, Stop it. They're like, they're like bowing over with their heads, and now she's like jumping around. All their heads are moving in the same, same motion. It, it's so no, it's, it's terrible. Like, yeah, they had they had somebody there being like they had a choreographer. Yeah, here's what you do. You go out here and and now they're all shaking their heads Plus, and they look silly and she looks ridiculous. Yeah, the whole thing is like the chorus is just her saying she's pissed. She's wearing a oh. Seven Dust T-shirt because she thinks that's what metalheads would wear. It's cool, and they would talk about being pissed. I'm just amazed she likes this type of music. I'm really confused. I know. Uh, uh, this like, is how did all she... confusing. But when I heard she had a band, I was like, oh, that's hot, man. That's going to be really fun. But what got her to this point where she likes this type of music so much she tried to do it herself? Uh, really strange. I guess she's a metal fan. Oh. She was always like... She was always like had that kind of kind of that's like metal -y vibe to her. She always had yeah. the tattoos before that that's shit true. was cool. And It's not that bad. Uh, Opie, it's it terrible. It sucks. It's, it's, it's not, terrible. It's, it's not that bad. Something that's out of bed. Are you saying it? this to get a rise out of us? No. Somehow I'm not <laughs> feeling her real anger. I, I'm not going to Sorry. I'm not going to She is a tiny anything. little thing, isn't I, she? I'm kind of amazed yeah. that she almost pulls it off. 
She does I, it almost. No, off. it's every it's really every part bad. of that is awful. She's nowhere near the mark. It's hey, terrible, man. man. Letterman would never just put a band on like that. It's not you that. Jada Pinkett. I know what you're doing. I'm not biting on this. It's it's already bit. You already bit. I know. already nibbled. I'm, 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 I'm reneging bad. my bite. <laughs> I'm pulling back off my bite. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna? You wanna? Um, Hear that guy with the clouds again, but we have a new one. A new cloud guy. Um, Did you hear the cloud guy on the way in? Uh, no. No. The, I the square I... shaped cloud. No, I didn't hear that. He uh, he makes clouds, uh, I don't know, shape Change shape. shape with his mind. Oh, He's really? amazing. Yeah. yeah. He's fucking awesome. He's stupid. And he, he looks up and he goes, you change the shape of the cloud. Cloud. Yeah. Who is uh, he? Cloud. You got to see these videos. They're fucked up. All right. Just how he talks, but Danny got another one. But he's really he's got a lot of these, so he's changing the shape of another clue. <laughs> but wait, is he a, is he a n lunatic or is it somebody that people think is actually doing this? I think he's got a little uh, little thing going on, a little following. I think he looks at some clouds, sees what shape it turns into, then he, and then he fucking records the audio and uh, makes it look like he's actually doing it. I don't. But it's not about oh, that. Wow. It's you about his voice, dude. I never even thought of that. I said that yesterday. I must I not said have heard it yesterday. It. Because the cloud he was talking about yesterday actually kind of turned into a square sheep clue. <laughs> That's amazing. So you keep the, the ambiance going by leaving the camera out there. You wait for the fucking uh, <laughs> cloud to do what it's going to do, and then you record your audio. Yeah, because why isn't he in the video? Well, he that's should the be in the video right? saying that. Yeah. A good amazed to clue. Because I think he wants people to be amazed like he has some kind of weird power. But we're obsessed with how uh -huh. he sounds. Yeah. All right. Square sheep clue. All right. Yeah, that would be easy to do. You know that. Oh, God, that's amazing. I never, what? Thought, I never thought of that. He, he puts the sound in later, and it, he looks like a fucking uh, amazing, Genius. magical yeah. guy. Clued. All well, right. Here, here is a new one. We played the square shape clued yesterday. This one has something to do with a hole. Oh. This video is being recorded by T. Chase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording this. Recording this in September 2011. This is a psychokinesis weather control video by T. Chase, where I'm able to uh, control clouds and wind. In this case, I'm going to try to attempt to make holes in a cloud by psychic energy. See, I'm uh, training the camera now on this cloud. You can see more on my website on this, but I'm going to try to make a hole in this cloud by psychic power as you watch. Make a hole in this cloud I'm looking at here now. Hole. Make a hole in the cloud. Make a hole in the cloud. <laughs> why is he talking like that? I I try to make that's hole. why we play these. We <laughs> I don't, don't know. know why he's doing that. Make a hole in the cloud. I, and I don't think he has confidence in what he's doing. That's why I keep saying the cloud we're looking at now. That's like subliminal yeah. in his mind, like, yeah, oh, fuck, yeah. you know? Because yeah. I don't think you would say that. Is that, yeah, it's, is that part of his process to, to start talking like that, I guess? Yeah, it we is. It's part of his magical process. Huh? We don't know anything about it. It's part of his magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try to make a hole in this cloud. Make a hole in the cloud. <laughs> Enlarging the hole in the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> so breathing. Yeah. Make a hole in the cloud. <laughs> an asshole. I love this guy. <laughs> an asshole. Make a hole in the cloud. <laughs> oh shit. All right. Oh, look, he's doing it. Enlarging the hole in the cloud. Make a hole in the... Make a hole in the cloud. Make a hole in the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> make a hole in the cloud. Oh, make a hole in the cloud. Make a hole in the cloud. Make a hole in the cloud. 
What is Make he doing? Make a hole in the cleave. Why is Make he saying that? Make a hole in the cleave. 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 Enlighten the hole in the cleave. Enlighten the hole in the cleave. Make a hole in the cleave. Make a hole in the cleave. Make the hole grow bigger. Make a hole in the cleave. Make a hole in the cleave. Make the hole grow larger. Make a hole in the cleave. 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 Make a hole. Make a hole in the cleave. 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 Make a hole in his head. Make a hole in the cleave. Make the hole grow like you. Make a hole in the cleave. Make a Who's crying? Do you hear the person you. crying? Make a hole oh, yeah. in the cleave. What's that about? Scare the, the kids all around you. them. <laughs> See the hole in the cloud. Dude, <laughs> he goes into a fucking... Make a hole in the cloud. He goes into a little trance. Uh, people want Roland to imitate this guy. Roland. How was that sleepover? It was good. <laughs> You slept on Roland, uh, I don't know if he's going to mind me saying this uh, on the radio. Oh, uh oh. Maybe good. I should wait. He's a good host? He's a great host. He's a great host. He was super kind. He, uh, I don't know if I should say this. Oh, my you God. He, no, snores. It's fine. he snores worse than. Oh, yeah, we uh, all know that. Oh, yeah. oh you do? Because I he snores yeah, yeah, yeah. in movies. I recorded it. Wow. Oh, <laughs> what? shit. Oh, shit. What are you going to tell us? <clears throat> All right. I was so awake and <laughs> yeah. laughing so hard in the bed that I started recording. Wow. I've been trying to get his snore on tape forever, oh, but it's usually at movies where they're looking for your uh, phones and stuff. I have four recordings of it on my phone. Wow. And, uh, but they're, it's like it's like ghost hunters. Like it's moments, it's long periods of silence. <laughs> <laughs> it's dead quiet, and all of a sudden you hear like... <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Let, let's uh, let's uh, get that on the radio. Yeah. Should we give it to Troy Kwan? Troy Kwan. Troy Kwan could edit that shit out so we could get to the uh, the meat of it. <laughs> I uh, I have uh, I have it on my email. I can just forward it. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's listen to Rolling Snoo. What, is he going to get pissed if I do this? Rolling Snoo. Oh, Jesus! Are you going to get mad if I do this? <laughs> Go for it, Carl B. Toad. No, I'm serious. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, I'm, I'm really serious. I'm not going to send it if you're going to get mad. Is this angry uh, panda? All I hear is gay, gay, gay. What was that? <laughs> oh, my oh, God. See, yeah. I told you. <laughs> you got to watch Roland. No, He's seriously. Good mood. Is this going to make you angry? Because <laughs> no, no. I, won't, I won't send it if it'll make you. I swear to God, I won't send it. No, it's fine. Yeah. He's Are you angry today? No, he's mad. What happened? No, 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 Oh, I can tell you've been in a well, pissy maybe. mood since we got yeah, here. What, is it what happened? What you're, happened? You're all giggles in the fucking cab yeah, what happened? on the way over. You look pissed. What happened? He is. You know do you why? know what it is? Yep. Is it worth talking about in the air? Yep. God, let's Ooh. go. Does that have anything to do with? No. <laughs> I, I, just, <laughs> I just keep fucking looking over there. But you would assume. Yeah, what, uh, you could assume. <laughs> I, I just want to bring it up on the air. You don't? No. Oh, what that it, sounds juicy. Is it, is it work Whoa. related? Sort of. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Roland, let's get into this. Is, it, is it management? No. no. <clears throat> is it uh, one of our coworkers? No. Not technically. Somebody in the building? Yep. Yeah. Is it a lady? No. no. Is it... Um... It's just when you're joking around the office and somebody you don't know whacks you in the back of the head thinking <laughs> it's all right, I'm going to grab your fucking throat. <laughs> don't fuck with me. Wow. Don't wow. fuck me. Yeah. Oh, we're just joking. I know who the fuck you are, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> Go fuck yourself and fuck your stupid kids. Oh, <laughs> wow. Nice. 
Wow, Roland. But other than that, I'm fantastic. Wow. Yeah, Roland doesn't fucking play. I know, I in know. That's end, why man. I was scared to bring this guy story. around. No, when you jerk around, it's fine, but when you smack a person back of the head. Well, how did, gonna... what, how did it go down? What happened? Yeah. In the office, joking around with Mars and Sal and some other guy who Mars works with was like, yeah, whack. Right back in my head. Oh, I was like, shit. Whoosh. Who was this? Just choking someone out. You started choking, choking him? No, I choking. grabbed his shirt. I said, what the fuck are you doing, you dumb motherfucker? Wow. Mm, nice. Hey, he struck first. Yeah, he did. So I went, who is it? You don't fuck don't with Roland. Name names on the... Cause... Well, he's one of Mars' co-workers. Uh-huh. Oh. In his department. Yeah, someone waxed me. I was like, fine. And then How I long ago did that happen? An hour. Damn, that's why I still got negative panda energy. Yeah, yeah. You do yeah. Negative, I could tell he was negative. mad when he came in during the break, and I was yes. like, "What are you doing tonight?" He's like, "I don't fucking know. I gotta go get dinner with my friend." Yeah, and I was all like, pissed. "Oh, you're yeah. uh, you know, a joke." Nervous. But just when someone whacks him back, in oh the head, yeah, I turned crazy. Oh yeah, wow. You want me to go take this guy on? Oh no, I I, <clears throat> I send my message a lot. Of time. Need him worked over a little bit? Yeah, I got it. I'm good. You got it? Yeah, I I send my words. We'll take to care him. of shit for you. But what about if Anthony uh, breathe on him and give him that fucking throat cancer? <laughs> <laughs> <he's got. laughs> yeah. Oh no, no, like Joe, Joe could play that thing. I'm not mad at that. I mean, that's nothing. No. Uh, All right, let's play. Yeah, that I love show. you guys. So that's well. Fine. I wasn't. Here's let me. I, I want to explain this to you because you were I know, so, my, an incredible Lane. fucking host last night. Really unbelievable. I'm serious. I'm so grateful. And I in fact told my mom. I said this guy from the show is so nice. He's let me stay in his place. And, and my apartment is clean. And I just have yes. a I just have a dirty desk because it makes people super. Angry. Clean oh. apartment smells good. Like I don't mean like it smells good. Like it would smell bad. I mean like it smells like fresh and rosy in Ooh, there. Nice. But um, laundry smell. Nice. <laughs> laundry smell. But the only reason I taped it, you snoring, was not to be like a devious cunt. Like I'm gonna tape you oh. snoring because it's embarrassing. I taped it because I was like, just in case the guys know that he already snores and this is a joke, I want to have, have this on tape. Very good. And if it's not cool, then I won't oh, do no. it. And then as soon as they said. Oh, we all fucking know that. I was like, okay, well, yeah. I, I have audio of it. I know. Oh, my, my mom recorded me before my brother, so it's like... It's, it's, oh, I'd love it's to hear there. it. And you always wake up when I'm trying to record you. Yeah, you're, because, you're paranoid because, when like, you're around me. me. Well, I, sense you I think he camp. senses me. Yeah. He's also to wake up yeah. and, and, and turn his head real fast. Yeah. Yeah. Who do I forward How this to? Yeah. 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 What's your email? Let me write it in. Well, we might write Dick bag at. I have four of them, but the fourth Sick. one is the best one. That's the most consistent. Oh, so let's nice. just go with the fourth one. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Cool. Oh. And you can, if you, if you listen closely, you can hear me laughing in the bed. Uh, <laughs> like, I was sitting there la really laughing. And then I got up at one point to like, try to come in the room to record. Or not come in the room, but stand oh, in the door. Oh, wow. Joe, what's in, that about? Uh, stand in the little, door with a hammer-like sling blade? Yeah. <laughs> a little, the middle, was, was a my, little uh, middle of the night visit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, my pants oh, were down, oh, so I oh, couldn't. What do we I was got here? I was going to trip. What do we got here? Why don't you come on in, Joe DeRosa? <laughs> Rolling taps Did this corner it? of the bed. Did you wait till the mess exploded? Yeah. That'd be before I go to bed, I do my yoga. I hear people downstairs talking. I just scream at them to shut up. Yeah, you can't bed. scream if you're doing yoga. Well, that's my version of yoga. <laughs> you talk. He's all angry during yoga. You yell crazy things when you're sleeping sometimes, too. Oh, my God. You heard all this? <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that They're on tape. night terrors. <laughs> we have night terrors. What is he Yeah, doing? I don't know, dude. You scared the terror. shit out of me, though. <laughs> What's going on at Roland's house, man? What's going on in his mind? Fuck his house. Yeah, he like what yelled out it? some mumbly shit when he was oh sleeping. And I, I was like, hear that. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Bruce, 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 Bruce. And he also does like I think you can hear a little bit of him here. Like you snore like the way like the Three Stooges snore. <laughs> like when you exhale, you're literally like. <laughs> 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 Does he have sleep apnea? Uh, I think you might be a candidate for it, but I think you should get checked, man. Yeah, you I got through it. I'm good. You got a hard snore because you don't snore. Hard snore. You don't snore consistently, which is what would scare me about it. It sounds like it gets disrupted. It's, it sounds like disrupted, disruptive. Excuse me, like mm. like you're breathing and then all of a sudden it gets Stop interrupted. Breathing. Yeah, yeah. And then there's like that's some... apnea. Yeah. That's sleep apnea. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. Yeah, it's Good well, I don't want you to die in your sleep, man. I won't. The alcohol will preserve me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll Do you have it there? Yeah, I'm just scanning through it. 
I think it's two minutes, but I think there's a good amount on there. I kind of like the tension of uh, the right. silence. Yeah, yeah, I kind of want to hear. Wait, the whole track's two minutes. Fuck it. Let's just go with it. Let's, Let's go with fill it. up the. We'll fill up uh, the dead air. Because it go does. It. it feels like it feels very Ghost Hunters. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Now it's from the bedroom, so it's not that far. Yeah, you okay. can. It echoes because I have no furniture. Oh. Okay. Just. <laughs> Ghostly. <laughs> there's, I think there's more. He should have got up and went to the door. I have one from the door. Hold on, send Oh, you do? Yeah, let me see. I don't know. There might be a little more at the end. That I was, can't remember. That last one was pretty loud from the other room. Jesus Christ. Holy this shit. one, this this other one, I... Yeah. How did you sleep? <laughs> I didn't did fucking sleep. I did. With I that slept going for like on. 90 minutes. He, he wow. possessed. That's a racket. <laughs> or, or it's like an animal sleeping. Wow, dude. Holy fuck. I slept That's for like 90 snore. minutes. I, and I just was too lazy to shut the door. Like, I just was like, oh, fuck yeah, fuck it. Who cares? We got this far. If I would have shut the door, I would have been fine. <laughs> wow. Damn. <laughs> That's loud. Yeah. This uh this is the one from the door, so it's a little louder, I oh, think. Okay. Did you did we miss any, Sam? No, not really. All right. So, waiting. It's very intermittent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's not like one of those That's when he stops breathing. Consistent snoring. Yeah, that's guys. why I think you should get tested. AIDS? <laughs> Aids. <laughs> oh. <laughs> guys. Yeah, you, you could use that noise in monster movies. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> that would literally scare me. Like I would be scared in the room. It's nighttime. You're hearing. <laughs> 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 Frightening. <laughs> Petrifying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think there's a little, a little more. Okay. Just tracking through rolling snore. <laughs> Are you talking? Did you say Bruce? <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> it sounds like... <laughs> <laughs> it's very animal-like, yeah. <laughs> I know, and it sounds like he's talking during the exhales, right? Yeah. yeah. It sounds like he's like whispering in tongues or something. Yeah, and speaking in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the people pissing me off throughout the day. <laughs> ah. All right. 
I, wow. Uh, Wowie kazowie. Yeah, I felt uh, violating if I would have like actually gone in. I was standing in the bedroom for the first one the doorway in the bedroom for the first one but my shadow was just getting projected on the wall and I was like if he wakes up uh, and yeah. sees, sees the, the shadow, shadow. He's standing in the door that is creepy right there <laughs> yeah to so. just scaring the shit out of each other <laughs> holy shit but dude uh, fucking uh credit to the iPhone and the VR recording app i was recording that from the bed in the bedroom Around you were around the wall in the living room on a couch against the far wall, and it still came it out echoes, that yeah. fucking clear. That's what, amazing. You gave him me. your bed. Yeah, what a nice guy. Yeah, he went and, on the couch and fresh sheets. <laughs> wow. Fresh sheets. What a nice host. That is pretty New nice. New towel. Man. New towel. Nice. Soap Good. without pubic hair. <laughs> He's got the pump. The pumps. Oh, oh man. He's got the pump. Nothing wrong with the wow, pumps. Wow, the pump soap. <laughs> yeah, because I don't like bar soap. So nice. Out. All right. We'll uh, we'll take a break. Joe, what are we uh, promoting again? Caroline's around Memorial Day weekend. I know that. Caroline's, yeah. The Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday of Memorial Day weekend. I will be there. Three shows. Please come out to check that out. Uh, my web short. Also starring Anthony Cumia will oh, be yes. debuting that week uh, on the Warner Sound very channel on I saw YouTube. It. I saw it and uh, it. I thought it was very funny. Joe DeRosa is hilarious. Uh, you were hilarious. It, oh, sir, you were hilarious. Thank you. I love how maniacal you are. You're just like fucking... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so into it. It's great. <laughs> So uh, yeah, so that's coming out. I'm also doing a, a part of a fundraiser tomorrow night in Jersey oh, for uh, no, he did. with Vinnie Brand for the uh, for the Salvation Army at the College. The of New Human Jersey. Fund. The Salvation Before Army. Christmas, you know, yeah. I, it, what help do they need? Ding, ding, ding. I don't know. With the homeless, I guess. <laughs> With the homeless, I guess. Like a nice I thing to do. <laughs> you need new kettles and Nothing bells. Nothing wrong with having a nice thing to do, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know what the Salvation Army does. Uh, food and meals, care. yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, food, clothes, things See, like that. They, yeah, they close the home. Close. <laughs> they close the homeless. They, they close, close the, the homeless. Clothe. Yes, give us clothe, some clothes. Clothe the homeless. Clothe the homeless. Clothe the homeless. Clothe the homeless. We're putting clues on the homeless. With no hooves. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That is so oh, bad. Oh, you're in a better mood? Yes. All right. All Don't right. smack roll on the back of the head or you're no. fucking going to get killed. Yes. <laughs> Remember, Roland's like that lion with that baby by the plexiglass at the zoo. You're yeah. fucking evil. You I, see uh, that one, Joe? It's great. It's awesome. It's protecting its baby? Oh, no. No. Or a baby. Punch that up real quick. It's amazing. It's, it's like the video that video of the day yesterday. Oh, no. It's no, uh, a lioness. Apparently, these people took their kid to the zoo dressed like a fucking little zebra, and this lion wants to eat this child <laughs> so bad, it can't even deal with how much it wants to eat that kid. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Why do they leave the kids sitting there? Because <laughs> it's funny. The glass That's a good protects them from the. That's how I feel. I want pizza. That fucking thing is. I would imagine. You know what it would do to that kid? Oh my God! It'd, it'd, be, it'd be a wrap. One fucking yeah. Uh, Look how big that mouth opens up. It could just take its whole head in there. Yeah. Big dumb baby just sitting there, dressed like a zebra. <laughs> Who's the, I love that clip. Who are the assholes on YouTube that dislike something like that? How do you dislike? Well, those are the people that think it's cruel and terrible. Um, okay, I read some of the comments. It was pretty good. People were just like, what horrible parents uh, <laughs> letting their <laughs> child sit there while a lion's trying to eat it. It did freak me out a little bit, to be honest. It, there was something that pussy. seemed a little wrong about it, but then you realize it's like the kid doesn't care and the glass is there. It's not going to... Mm -hmm. You know, if that glass breaks, a lot of people are in trouble. That's what, yeah, that's what I was thinking was, what if the glass broke? You'd just be kicking yourself. It's impossible. Yeah. For the it wasn't break. worth it. Here's something that Sal just ran in. We have no idea what this is. I hope it bombs. Okay. Don't get the panda angry! That's not a panda. Oh, no. Sorry, dude. It's okay. That's not a panda. What was that? A gorilla. Or a lion. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? Roland's referred yeah. to as an angry panda because he's cute and cuddly, but oh. then when he gets upset, he's yeah. uh I thought we did the angry panda with you. Vicious. It wasn't you? No, it was Papa. Who Papa made that? Who oh, made Tom that? Papa, right. Tom Papa. Who made that production? 
Sal? It sucks. Oh, you think so? It really was bad. Oh. Like Sal's normally pretty good at his job. Oh, I do understand. No. But that well, that was really bad. Oh, no. That He's wasn't trying. good. He hasn't even been around that long, so he couldn't be that good at his job. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's boy. true. I mean, when you really... Facts are facts. He tried. He tried. You I'd get, get rid you know. of him if I were you. Yeah, yeah maybe. Maybe idea, we made the wrong decision. Not a Seems bad like idea. Taking him on board. You definitely made the wrong Back decision. Back to intern. No maybe about that. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Yeah, dude. I, didn't I can't like... believe he's made it this far. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I didn't like the way it was uh, voiced. Right. It sounded amateurish. A little bit. The voice. And uh, the lion at the end. And, know. You know, the thing's trying too hard. The thing with yeah. these bits is uh, they need to have a visual quality. Yes, yes. The exactly. audio needs to needs to leap off. Paint a picture. Right. Paint a picture. Paint a picture. I, just, yeah. I wasn't getting anything Rookie there. shit. Yeah, that it was rookie. Yeah. It was amateur. It was fucking. And this ain't uh, amateur hours. It was college, college radio at best. This is the biggest fucking radio show in the world. Exactly. So. Uh, all right. Okay. I see that. Sal, back to the drawing board for you. Why don't we take a break? We'll continue. <laughs> Roland's good. He's thinking about Bruce. Everything's Bruce. fine, right? Bruce. All right. Someone sent me a file of uh, she's the one from the other night. Yeah, they have it on YouTube. The whole entire show. Who, who's doing that? Um, there's one guy. There's one guy. There's a, he, um, they do f a four shot camera shoot for all of Bruce shows. He's allowed to do that. Ooh, not really though. But oh, it's, sure. we all know who it is. I, I mean, you email him, he'll send you like. But the, Bruce isn't making him uh, take the videos down. Really? It, it was it, a four camera shoot of the song I really, really promotes, enjoyed the other promotes night. the show. Bruce, so people go see it. Bruce. Bruce. But uh, thanks to that guy uh, who sent me sheets. Bruce. 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 I think Mother's Day is coming up. We know that, right? Joe, help me out with this, please. Yeah, man. Uh, what are you going to do for your mom? I'm going to buy her things. Are you going to give her a lame card you picked up from the gas station? Absolutely not. Who picks up cards at a gas station? Losers. No one is the answer. No one. So why is it in the copy? Well, it's... <clears throat> we all pick up lame Mother's Day cards, but we hope to find something that we can relate to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I always feel guilty though, because I'm like, oh fuck, that's beautiful, but I didn't write it. <laughs> I uh, I write my name really, I sign it really quick and shut it and shove it in the envelope because I feel weird when you read like the sentimental stuff. Oh really? Yeah, it's. it's... I feel like I have to write something. Well, I write because I feel guilty. That, yeah. If you just sign those cards, it's like, oh, you didn't really put any effort in this. No, I write something. Yeah. I mean, but I'm saying like I write it and then it's just I put it away quickly. Like I can't look at it. Well, we're not suggesting you get a a card for your mom. Oh, well, then that's well, maybe you should, but then you got to, like, pump it up with something. No card. This bastard, Steven Singer, doesn't want you to buy a Mother's Day card? He's got you covered. Doesn't he understand people could do both? It comes with a card. No, it, not really. It's a tiny little thing that says, hey, this is from Steven Singer. Yeah, but you get your shit across. Yeah. Uh, Joe, you're going to take her out to the same old uh, dinner at the Pickle Garden? <laughs> it's in the copy. <laughs> That's uh, isn't that terrific? That's my dad's favorite restaurant. The so we go there Garden? on Father's Day. Yeah. That's not a big Mother's Day spot. <clears throat> my mom likes uh, the Corn Hutch. The Corn Hutch. Yeah, that's her place. The fact is, guys are stupid <laughs> when it comes to this stupid stuff. Did you know it's your job to buy a gift for your wife? No, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. I just thought my two-year-old could go to the store on his own and no. figure it out. No. No, I didn't know that, No, Joe. you got to do it, Opie. Oh, Jeez, really? Wife, Opie. So you got to buy it uh, for your wife, for your kids. This is very important. So what are you waiting for? What are you going to do? Take our advice. Head to Steven Singer. You know Steven Singer? I hate StevenSinger.com. <laughs> do you like him, though? I like him. I kind of like him. Which is why I don't like saying the web address. I think it's time for him to drop the I hate part. Yeah. It was like when Primus did Primus sucks in the nineties, but they didn't suck, right? They did, yeah, but the fan—it was for the fans to buy. Right, I was like, right. Oh, come on. Well, trust me, Steven Singer's not a rock star. <laughs> He's a jet. <laughs> He's a jet. <laughs> oh boy. But he has fresh baked cookies when you go in there. Oh boy. I got a fucking ring recently. That's right, I did. Yeah. I go there for what fucking kind of ring? engagement rings. What kind of ring did you? Somebody get? else I was helping out, but I said, you know what? I got a guy. I got a guy. Really? Name Steven Singer, with uh, beautiful girls in there, and fresh baked cookies, Take and wine and beer if you like. Oh yeah, and, and nice diamonds. As wine well. and beer, whatever you want, Joe. So you can go tie one on while you're shopping for jewelry. The only weird thing is if you have to take a leak, you either have to go across the street to the Starbucks, or you have to like 
go around to the back, go through another door, up the stairs, like like you're fucking doing a drug deal. I hate Steven I don't know, Singer. I don't know why he doesn't have a bathroom <laughs> for his customers right right there. That's now my only complaint it. about this now guy. Now I get the website. Yeah, now I now understand the hate. Sense. You have to sit there with a full bladder. <laughs> Um. Oh yeah, he's gonna make you look like a hero. That's where we're at. So easy. Uh -huh. We don't even know what we're talking about yet. We're five <laughs> minutes into this. What is it? This is like the uh, one bourbon, one scotch, one beer. Oh really? Version of this read. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm getting to the hook. <laughs> he has a beautiful selection of gifts, Joe. Perfect for Mother's Day. Here we go. This year. He's really come through. Steven has a beautiful brand new Super Silver Argenium Mother and Child Diamond Pendant. I went online because I wanted to be informed. Yeah? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Did it say I to feel say guilty. that? I didn't. No. <laughs> I was going to give him a little extra, and then I realized, you know what? I really didn't go online. Bullshit. But maybe I should and check this thing out because yeah. we're talking about it. It's only 149 bucks. so whether you're shopping for your mom, your wife, or your mother-in-law, Steven's going to make this Mother's Day so easy. He's got a great selection of gifts for all the mothers in your life. Visit Steven Singer Jewelers, the other corner of 8th and Walnut. Make sure you take a leak before you get in there. Trust right. me on that. That's right. Or call him toll-free at 88. A lot of cleavage in that place. At the Steven yeah, Singer's. A lot of cleavage. It's in a great part of town, too. I like that part of Philly. Nice, quite right? A bit. Yeah, seriously. One of the first banks in America is right down the street. Uh, and it's a bar now. I think is it? Well, there's a bar right in that area that used to that's called like Savings and Trust or something. Yeah, and, and it's an old bank. Yeah, and you go in and it's the coolest bar I've ever been to in my life. All right, very good. Probably shouldn't be plugging that right now. In the middle. It's like what the fuck are you guys doing? And, and left at the beginning of this read and he's back. He's like, what are you guys doing? I just looked up and I realized like. Oh, it's still the read. Like, I thought you guys were doing the show, and I'm, I'm just sitting here, like, looking at my computer. I figured this was a way to kill a few minutes. Not bad. I so Not want bad out of here at all, today. I so want out of here today. I'm so tired. Uh, where were we? We're talking about banks, 149 bucks. Where were we? Uh, oh, I did that part. Making Mother's Day. Okay, he's making it easy. Here we go. Steven has a great selection of gifts for all the mothers in your life. Oh, oh yeah, the corner of 8th and Walnut with the fucking bladder thing. Okay, good. Or call them, 888-I-HATE-STEVEN-SINGER, or online with free shipping. That's key. A lot of these fuckers are killing you with the shipping costs. Yep. I hate Steven Singer com. That's where you can see the, uh, the child diamond pendant thing with the mother attached to it. And check out the brand-new Mother's Day, uh, yeah, Super Silver Argentium. That's right. I didn't mention that part. Diamond pendant. Steven Singer is going to make your Mother's Day shopping so easy. So go to I hate Steven Singer com. Yeah, all that shit. Hey, Joe, um, Mother's Day. What are you doing for Mother's Day? You know, I'm going to buy my mom things. What are you going to buy her? Well, I was thinking about getting a card at a gas station. No, don't do that. Really? No cards, sir. Not from a gas station? No. What about from, a, like, a, you know, maybe a, a drugstore? Yeah, you should do that. Okay. Go early, or you get the shitty cards. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I was the gonna... guys that aren't quite right with their poetry, <laughs> it's a little <laughs> off. <laughs> I'm last minute guy. I'm like, oh man, this poetry is missing something. I was gonna, I was gonna buy it on the way to to her house. Yeah, yeah, of course. For dinner and and fill it out as I was driving. And is that I, not the best way to do it? And she could tell that because it's all smudged when she opens it up. Yeah, the yeah. ink is still drying as she's reading it. Yeah, let's not do that, Joe. All right, I'm, all right. Then um, what should I do? Okay. Well, instead of the usual flowers, flowers suck. Until we talk about flowers, then flowers rule. I was but gonna, right now, flowers suck. Let's be honest with each other. I was going to get her card with flowers on it. No, nah, don't do that, Joe. All right. But next hour, that might be a really good idea. Okay. All right. All right. Next hour, that might be a great idea. Ooh. But right now, flowers suck. You right understand now what I'm suck. saying? Yeah. Jewelry, if you, it, it suck right now. Jewelry sucks? Gold dip roses right about now suck. They do? Yes. All right. Next hour, those could be the best ideas. But what doesn't suck Yet now? for Mother's Day. What doesn't suck right now, thank you, Joe, is uh, berries. That you eat? Yeah. <laughs> right. I agree. I got you, nothing against berries. You sound skeptical. No, I just, uh, I just didn't. Watch know how we turn this around. Berries? Yeah, it sounds a little going. weird. Mother's Day berries? What? Yeah. What is that? It's Sherry's berries. Sherry's berries? Sherry's berries. Yes, that's right. They are 
giant dipped strawberries. Ooh. From Sherry's Berries. I'm listening. These enormous, mouth-watering berries come dipped in white milk and dark, chocolatey goodness. Okay. I can barely say chocolatey. But it's in the copy. <laughs> right. And topped with chocolate chips. Ooh. And one of those, like, decorative swizzles. You know what a, what, I, yeah. you know what a decorative swizzle is? I know exactly what a fucking swizzle is, my friend. And then you throw <laughs> some nuts on there sometimes. Uh, okay. I actually, uh, I actually gave my mom some of this for her birthday. Did you? Yeah, she ate them all in one sitting. Hey, every day's Mother's Day at Sherry's Berries. That's right, Joe. Go to berries.com. You know how to spell berries? Because they want me to spell it for the people. B-E-R-R-I-E-S. Dot com. Very good. Then you click on the microphone and type in the code OP. You know what that's about? They want to know if their advertising's working. Right. So please help us out. If you go to Sherry's Berries, make sure you do that. Click on the microphone, type in the code OP, O-P-I-E. Mom, wife, sister, and friends, the juicy berries are the perfect gift for all of the wonderful moms in your life. Plus, you can double the berries for just $10 more, Joe. That's Ooh. right. Show how much you appreciate her love and hard work. Order now for Mother's Day. Sherry's Berries, starting at nineteen ninety nine. Call 866-FRUIT-0, the number 2. Got that? 866-FRUIT-0, the number 2. Or even better, visit berries.com. Click the microphone in the top right corner. Type in Opie. Go to berries.com. Very important. Click on that microphone. Type in Opie. O-P-I-E. Hurry. This offer expires tonight at midnight. Sherry's Berries. Sirius XM. This is the Obi and Anthony Show. <laughs> Joe DeRosa was obsessing about the Reservoir dog scene that he was talking about earlier in the show. <laughs> and uh, he found it. We were it all is. sitting around uh, in the diner. And... Uh, what what was he actually bringing up there? He's got it. He, Sam's got a kid up here to the the night the lights went out in Georgia. That's what we're right. trying to figure out exactly what he says. Right. And we missed a couple really good lines here. I just listened to it. Okay. That Let's are really funny. Pop that. Let me hear this. I love this scene. You know what I heard the other day? Heartbeat is a love beat by Little Tony DeFranco and the Franco family. And I haven't heard that song since I was in the fifth fucking grade. But I was coming down here. The night the lights went out in Georgia came on. I. I ain't heard that song since it was big. The one that was big, I must have heard it a million trillion fucking times. <laughs> this is the first time I ever realized that the girl singing the song is the one who shot Andy. Wait, you mean you didn't know that Vicky Lawrence was the one who shot Andy? I thought it was the cheating wife shot Andy. You can say that at the end of the song. I know, motherfucker. I just heard it. I'm talking about it. I don't know if you want to the song. I must have zoned out during that part before. All right. <laughs> I never caught that in the end when he goes, I must have zoned out during that part before. I never fucking caught brilliant. that at the end. That's fucking great. That's great. So funny. Chris Penn, uh, uh, Chris Penn, right? Yeah, That's Chris. Yeah. yeah, 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 sure. Because he's got the other, what's the other brother's name? Michael Penn. Michael Penn, yeah. Penn. Chris Penn's fucking, he was great. That's, God, was he fucking great. He should have been in more yeah. stuff. I know. It's really so sad been. that he died. Yeah. He's, he tells the, on the Reservoir Dogs DVD, he tells these stories in the bonus features about Lawrence Tierney, the guy that plays oh, yeah, Joe. Yeah. These crazy stories about him inviting him <clears> over <throat> his house and stuff. And I was watching it with Burr one night. We were laughing so fucking hard. Yeah. The guy's charisma is just leaping off of the... <laughs> you feel like he's there talking to you in a bar. Wow. He just has that kind of personality. He's laughing. He seems like, he just seems like oh, such a man. great dude. Very sad, man. I gotta fucking... I gotta see that. I have, I've never seen the, uh, the extra commentary like that. Oh, dude, his... His fucking delivery, it's great. They say it at the end of the song. I know, motherfucker, I just heard it. <laughs> <laughs> How about when they're driving in the car and he's talking to that guy at the restaurant? And he's like, he's an immigrant, he's a Mexican, he's a wetback, he's a friend of mine. <laughs> he's, <a wetback. laughs> he's fucking, the way he just throws that away. That is fucking great. <laughs> You're uh, under arrest, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Took some of that wacko glue and put it on his penis. Wacko glue. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. You beat a good one. this fucking prick long enough, he'll tell you start the goddamn Chicago fire that don't necessarily make it fucking so. <laughs> Come on, man, sing. That's another one Jay Moore does fucking uh, really he well. He does a great yeah. Chris Penn. <laughs> oh, dude, how good is that? Yeah. What happened? His, no, it's Chris, oh, Chris, Chris Penn, Penn is, is fucking great, yeah. He, I don't have it with Out me, dude. Out of the fucking blue. 
<laughs> Daddy's coming down here and he's fucking pissed. <laughs> Oh, I vid- I gotta bring it in here. I vi- I video. I was at a diner. I opened for uh, Jay Moore a couple months ago, and we went to the diner of the casino, and we started. We- I told him the Buck Angel story. Oh, I saw that. And, yeah, we I started video, talking yeah. about it, and he- I videotaped Jay Moore for like seven minutes doing Harvey Keitel telling yeah. me how to fight a transsexual man. <laughs> Dude, it is one of the funniest fucking impressions. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> put that up online. He's so good, much, man. Yeah, people he- love to see that. I don't know if he wants to you. I taped it, and then I showed it to him, and then he goes, he goes, he goes, you should set, p- p- uh, play it on Opie Anthony. I go, okay. And then I played it for him, and he goes, you ruined it. You're laughing too much. I'm like, <laughs> you do have a, a loud laugh, Joe. <laughs> it's a compliment how funny it is. It's making me laugh. But Hilarious. Then, <laughs> but yeah. then you can't hear some of the lines, Joe. What do you want from me? What do you want? <laughs> when you're trying to listen to George Thorogood, you laugh through the whole thing. George Thorogood. Did I ruin the Thorogood? <laughs> funny story. <laughs> it's a good story about <laughs> the landlord. trying to pay the rent. And, <laughs> right. And have it, then it goes to the bar. Trying to figure out where he's going to get the money for the it's rent. It's fucking great. Yeah, it's a fucking hilarious story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's going on with um, Ashton Kutcher? I just saw his mug on TV. Yeah, what is that? Some he's in trouble of... again? Yeah. <clears throat> Allegations of racism. What is that? He's kind of dumb, isn't he? He he's makes a lot moron. of money, though. I think man. he's an idiot. He just, uh, they're going to they're gonna continue with two and a half men. Yeah. It's going to keep going? Yeah. He's getting 700000 an episode. 700000 an episode, and I'm sitting here telling wow. the world he's dumb. Well, what did he do? What's he's he in trouble dumb, for? Though. Well, this is you have the audio you have is a abridged version of just the offensive audio. So what is it? it basically, they did like a little viral video type commercial for Pop Chips. That's a mock. Uh, it's a mock dating website. Uh huh. And Ashton's playing a whole bunch of different characters. One of them is an Indian character, and he's doing an accent, and he painted his face all brown like. Oh, all right. Big now, deal. why is that bad? Because Indian people normally have darker skin, and if you're portraying one. Why wouldn't you use makeup to kind of make the illusion better? We're not allowed to point out the obvious anymore. Yeah, the Indian folks don't like him in brown face. And so Pop Chips pulled the ad and apologized. I love how that's racist, but seven years of that fucking character on that 70s show was fine. (laughs) That fucking immigrant being like, man, I don't understand the country. Yeah. (laughs) That was okay. That's fine. This is fucking racist. Oh, wow. Really? That's all it was? And black people in white face, like, you know, that fucking... Right. Like white what? chicks. <laughs> what white is that? Chicks. White chicks with the Wayans brothers. I was like, what example does he have of that? I have white no. chicks, the Wayans brothers. <laughs> we, and we can't get past that because we said no to the Wayan brothers. And I know it's because they did white chicks. I just oh. can't have the guys I don't want the, that did white the chicks Wayans on brothers. our show. Oh, there were there. three Let's... scenes in that movie that made me laugh, and I was shocked that it had that many. Really? All right, maybe I it's a movie. I can't believe then. how not funny those guys are anymore. It's. They were Not funny. so fu- Living Color was so funny. It's great. Scary Movie One was fucking hilarious, and then some. God, don't be a menace was fucking hilarious. Some goddamn yeah. switch went off, and it's like the whole family isn't funny Just anymore. Just became unfunny. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, I'm, yeah. I think you might be right though. I f- it's like I I admire them, so I feel bad. I'm, I'm honestly I'm not trying to be provocative and shit on them. I'm just like I don't understand what happened. Yeah, what happened to the family? I think you get too Hollywood. Nobody is funny in that. I think family you just anymore. get too fucking Hollywood. Not man. taking any chances anymore. Right. Because you know too many people, you're like, oh, yeah, maybe, maybe I shouldn't go down that road anymore. Yeah. I got. I watched the TV Land Awards when they did the Living Color. Right. The Honored in Living Color. One of the shows. One of the shows. I got like. Goosebumps, like seeing them all on stage again oh, together, man. and see, and Jim Carrey, and 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 wow, you know yeah. David Allen Greer, and I was like, oh, this is so cool. The show was so fucking good. And then you're like, you think about the last like three movies they made. Yeah. That one where fuck white chicks, the one where he plays like the baby that has oh, a, yeah. that has oh, a grown up's head or whatever I the fuck that about. was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Ah, what the Can we fuck? get the? It's called like Lil Man or oh, something. Please Can get we the get trailer the trailer? Then we'll go to. The, we'll <laughs> go back to us and put you. That is the worst, oh, L- little I, man. I forgot about Lil Man. What the fuck? You're so God. right, Joe. <laughs> oh my God. Let's, let's look at the trailer. Uh, Make right. it full screen, please. You got it. Please, Sam. Thank you, Sam. You're the best, Sam. Love you, Sam. In the world Married of Corleone, there is no one bigger. Then Calvin Sims. Stupid! You got a boot on the car and you're about to get one in your butt! Sorry, Cal. <laughs> oh boy. Now he's back in action <laughs> and going for the score of a lifetime. That's what I'm talking about. But something is about to go. The Queen's Diamond, it's gone! Terribly wrong. <laughs> and to finish the job. Got the diamond? I had to ditch it. No! 
Now what? We go get it. Oh my you God! Hide out. I got a plan, yo. Go get it. In someone else's crib. Honey, look! Oh my God! It's a baby. Oh my man, God! This is they so went for that. Fucking bad. Dude, listen to the music. Like, He's adorable uh, in a National Geographic sort of way. And the guys who brought you white chicks. Why are you in that? Fix you for you to have a good night's sleep. Mmm, creamy. You're drinking breast milk. Comes a spit tag. Bundle uh. of joy. I'm gonna show you how great it is to have a dad, and you're gonna show me what it's like to be a dad. Oh. And this summer, hey, yo, Percy, it's me. Can you get the diamond? No, not yet. I'm in timeout. He'll be going. Oh oh no. Daryl, what are you doing? That's a rectal thermometer. Where no little man has gone before. Oh my God! Jesus, dude. Play game of peekaboo, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Peekaboo, I see you. Peekaboo, I see you. Sean Wayans. Wow. Morning. You were an animal last night. You've never done that before. Oh my God! This is terrible. And one for the baby. He's sworn he just stuck his tongue in my mouth. Oh my god. Wow. That, oh my god. It's really uncomfortable. That is douche chilly. That is douche chilly. That is and, so bad. And here's the fucked up. Uh, the guy that plays the baby. You were in Requiem for a Dream. <laughs> Before that. Before that. What the fuck? What yeah, are you, you doing? You could have said no to that. Oh, one. man. No, it's, uh, no, it's even more disturbing. That movie's six years old already. How, uh, how is that possible? I, 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 I was dumbfounded. Mm -hmm. I wanted to comment. I couldn't, I couldn't speak. That was it, horrible. Jesus Christ, dude. That's up there with major pain. Ooh, shit. Major that was pain. Damon Wayans. Yeah. Major pain. He was the... Did you ever see the... Uh, yeah, the remember when guy. Martin Short used to do Jiminy Glick? Yeah. Did you ever see when he interviewed... He did one where he interviewed Damon Wayans? And dude, it's it's so fucking funny, man. In the middle of the interview, uh, Martin Short just looks at his notes and he goes, "Major pain." <laughs> <laughs> and fucking David Wayne starts laughing because he knows he's like, "I know it's fucking piece of shit." Yeah, it's a pile of shit. I know <laughs> it <it's>... sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's coming. Yeah. Here it is. Oh, here it is. This is this is really funny, actually. I'm sitting here with the wonderful Damon Wayans of the legendary Wayans family. Which, which Wayans brother are you, Damon Wayans? I get confused. There's so many of you. Uh -huh. Damon Ivory Wayans. <laughs> <laughs> Damon Kyle Wayans. Ke it's Keenan Damon Ivory. Keenan Ivory. Yes. Damon Ivory. Damon Kyle. It's just, it seems like there's it's too much for this noggin of mine to turn. That was a funny fucking character. I love it. Yeah, it's too low. Uh, yeah, it really is. Yeah, the sound oh, sucks well. on it. I'm gonna check. That. I got a lot of stuff to check out because of you today, Joe. Ah, uh, um, oh, oh. So they asked you, Kutcher, play the whole commercial. Uh, by the way, pop chips suck. You try pop chips? What's that? What's that? Yeah, they're no. nasty. They're like styrofoam. They're fucking nasty. They're, they're very, shit. very airy. No substance to them. Fucking nasty. Looking for romance? It's here with worldwide lovers. Come meet our bachelors. I'm Raj. I'm a Bollywood producer. I'm looking for the most delicious thing on the planet. I'm Nigel, and I'm seeking higher planes of consciousness. Higher planes of consciousness. <laughs> Money creates taste, and I have lots of both. Okay, go away, James. So, who am I? I am Daryl. My name is Swordfish. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for something hot and spicy. Like Kardashian. He's hot. terrible. I would give that dog a oh, bone. Just How would I describe me? I'm an extraordinary lover. <laughs> I can also, without even looking, tell you whether you have an any or an outy belly button. So my whole life is detailed. Higher, lower. He's terrible. Yes, I was in a milk contest. I love poetry. Mm. And I won it. Huh? Mm. I'm sorry I was holding my breath to look This skinnier. is offensive just because it stinks. Like yeah. Nookie. And every character is a ripoff of somebody. The fucking robots. white hair guy but is you know, Dieter from Sprockets. This is poo poo. This is a like magical feather that was given to me by a shaman. Would you like a cheap? 
Pupu, it's okay. They are kosher. She only eats kosher. Yes. Uh, and I bet they were going crazy that he ate oh, it and the yeah. dog licked it on the all, set. They were oh. All, oh, wow. Your waiting room's like a freak show. Are we all in the same category? Life is short. <sighs> Well, shouldn't get in trouble for that, though. No, that, that had nothing. Like I said, it's more offensive that it just is horrible. And they yanked the spot. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. yeah, more knee-jerk Christ reaction to sakes. fucking nothing. So sad. For nothing. What the fuck? There's yeah, no what reason. What is happening? It's we're, fucking up comedy is what it's doing. It's fucking ridiculous, There's man. There's no reason for that. None so what? Whatsoever. He's playing an Indian guy in a... A montage of a bunch of shit where he was wearing makeup. Who cares? That's why. That's why guys like Tarantino are the shit. Where they're just. <clears throat> I saw an interview with him once where he goes. He goes. People tell me all the time. You, he goes. I don't understand when people say you can't do stuff. Yeah. He goes. People say it to me all the time. I'll tell them what I'm going to do in my new movie. And they'll be like, You can't do that. It's offensive. He goes. Go fuck yourself. I can do whatever I want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he fucking does it. And he operates outside of the system. Like nobody can fuck right. with that guy. And it's. But then. It, that's so tame. Didn't Spike Lee say he used nigger in his movies too much? The yeah. word. Uh, yes. Uh, and, and he got all like. And Quentin's like, fuck you. Because you do. Right. Gives a shit. Makes the movies funny. Come on. That fucking. <laughs> Spike Lee is so hateable. That scene with the He's fucking. Hateable. With the wolf coming well, over? Of course. Imagine not I being really, able to fucking use them. I really uh, was. Uh, like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of a lot of Spike Lee's movies. Uh. And I, I was a big fan of him for a long time, but like this whole thing that he just did, where he like tweeted out oh, yeah. George address? Zimmerman's address, the wrong it address. The wrong, it was like, dude, are you out of your fucking mind? What are you yeah. doing? Anyone are you else? Doing? Anyone else Jesus. would get in a lot of fucking trouble for that. Yes. They, they certainly would have got kicked off Twitter at the very least. But, yeah, but it's because like, of Spike Lee, I guess he gets to slide, gets a pass. Yeah, gets regardless pass. of your. This is what kills me about that. It's like regardless of your whole what your opinion is in that whole discussion, it's like, dude, you don't take vigilante tactics. Yeah, that's vigilante shit. Like that's like we're, we're gonna mm -hmm. go find this guy and pull. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you gonna find him to and and have people discuss things with him? I'm amazed. <laughs> no, yeah. so for violence. I'm amazed there wasn't more outrage. Of what? Are you wait. really? Are you really amazed? Well, I guess not. After yeah. a while, you're not. But I mean, you should be amazed. I guess. Yeah, I mean, way more should have happened to but, him. I can't take no the, the just the entire state, and it goes back to to what we were talking about early on with with Romney and Obama. It's it's like the both sides of that coin make me fucking sick. Yeah. On one side, it's guilty bleeding heart white people uh, trying to support s supporting somebody that that they know isn't effective in getting done what they think needs to be done or whatever but they're so fucking guilty yeah uh and, and stubborn that they're just going to keep supporting this person and then on the other side is just empty-headed fucking white people thinking that a guy like Mitt Romney is really on their side or actually gives a shit it's so fucking ridiculous meanwhile both of these fucking guys have the same exact I, it kills me when Romney goes Obama couldn't fix the economy but I will oh uh, will you will you yeah will you Romney? Yeah, exactly. It's easy to say that. that. They, huh? all, they all do, both sides. It's easy to say that. That's what they, but that's all it so is. So easy. You just got to hope you're in office when the economy swings up. Right. Because the president is. isn't doing shit to that's help the is. fucking economy. David Mamet wrote an article where he compared the Bush administration to the Kennedy administration. It was unfucking believable He was like, Bush, Bush gets blamed for Iraq, uh, current war in Iraq. Uh, Kennedy is was responsible for Vietnam. Bush was in bed with the oil companies. Kennedy was in bed with the mob. Uh -huh. Bush stole the election in Florida. Kennedy stole the election in West Virginia. It's all the same horseshit. Yeah. None of it matters. The only thing that matters is if when you and I meet at the water cooler, <laughs> we can get along and like work together and respect each other's opinions. Yeah. And it was the, the best fucking breakdown I've ever heard of it. <laughs> Outside of the Carlin thing about how he doesn't vote or whatever. Yeah, that's a great one. But, uh... It's, you know, it, know. We're, 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 you know, the best president uh, in the that in history might be some guy that's just fucking broke in the middle of fucking Nebraska somewhere, but has no ability to become the president. Not, right. It doesn't have the money, doesn't have that, but might be like the best guy for the job. Yeah. We always get the choice of the two guys that have millions upon millions of dollars millions. to throw away. And <laughs> millions. millions and millions. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. And there's yeah. no, you know, it's like really, the guys have, so the prerequisite is you have to be fucking loaded or be able to raise a fuckload of money to be president. I think it's, it's just bullshit. It's just so, it's so ridiculous. And the whole shit now, too, where the Republicans are bitching about, and I'm not saying this to attack the Republicans or to attack the, the left. It's, I'm just saying it to, to say it's just the same poor shit. Like the fact that the Republicans are going, oh, well, well Barack is, um, he's boasting that he killed Obama. Yeah, yeah. He's proud of it. It's like, that's Osama. what. Osama. You, you, what, what did I say? Oh, that the president killed Obama. Oh, sorry. Osama Bin Laden, I meant to say. Excuse yeah. me. The, um, yeah, it's like. That's what you guys fucking do. It's 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 like all exactly. sides do the exact same thing. It's two tattletales. Right. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do it. He did it. No, Ooh, he look did what it. he's doing. It, it's just like when uh, I mean, Zeppelin it, got busted for stealing all those songs. Right. And when they would interview Jimmy Page, he'd be like, "Robert said it was fine." <laughs> they would interview Robert Plant. He'd be like, "Fucking go talk to Page. He's the one that did." Uh, same fucking thing. Yeah. They made those songs their own though. They fucking stole them. They're thieving fucking limey pricks. But I, get, I, mean, I love Zeppelin as much as anybody. But I think back then it was acceptable. Yeah, yeah. That's the only well, argument I have on that. They don't give it I think it, they, a lot of those guys coming up, they would they would listen to the blues. They were obsessed with the blues. They'd find these obscure blues songs that mainstream America didn't really know yeah. yet. And they would redo them. Here's the yeah, truth of the fucking matter. They didn't give any credit in the writing credits. Who gives a shit they did and, then, back and then Page also stole songs from the Yardbirds, his former uh, band. Yeah, that's true. just made them maybe, Zeppelin songs. Maybe he wrote them for the Yardbirds. Uh, there was a lot of argument that he maybe. was only co-writer. Like what song? Uh, I don't remember because I don't know Zeppelin's catalog well enough to be able to. Yeah, to, to I name. I think you'd have never heard those fucking blues songs anyway. No one was ever going to hear fucking. That's what I mean. Some guy fucking. It's been a long time since a rock and roll. Yeah, but, 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 but I've been alone. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. But it doesn't mean it's okay to steal it. But yeah, it does. I'm saying those. <laughs> no one would. It was gone anyway. But uh, if a tree falls and no one's there to hear it. <laughs> oh, God. No, a band like Zeppelin brought a lot of those songs to light. That uh, I think Ant's right. That but were just completely buried. But they didn't give the guy credit or royalties. That, well, that, what, that's the shitty yeah, that, part. Yeah, that what is fucking, the shitty part. What upside is it for them to say, we didn't write this? Makes you look like faggots. And back then, yeah, the band had to write their fucking songs. Right. Makes you look like faggots. You know why? Because you're a bunch of fucking faggots. <laughs> and that's why I'm angry about it. And, and they should have bought one less castle and, and do the right thing and use what, that money to up? take care of the blues ah, guys. The old blues I don't guys. mean, by the way, I don't mean faggot as gay. Exactly. Before so many are you funny. sure, Joe? Are you sure? We just use that word I'm not... in the context of well, I used to use it with my friends. You know, it's, it's, like it's Richard. <laughs> How pissed would you be? Okay, now listen. I didn't, I didn't love. Did we play the spirit song for you yet? By who? Led Zeppelin. Well, oh boy. Did, did we do this? That's by a you? great one. No, what's the spirit song? Oh my god. Play that. Play oh. that fucking. Can thing. Can you find that really fast? Please play that fucking thing. You want to hear Stairway to Heaven before Stairway to Heaven? Oh, oh yeah, I've heard this. Holy fuck. They're fucking thieves. Holy <laughs> fuck. It's ridiculous that it's yeah. the same fucking song. What was song. the name of the spirit song? That came, We did this whole bit. It came Ruben. out before um, Stairway. All right. Which is... <laughs> There's a hundred different spirit songs. Oh, is there? Yeah, you guys kind of you guys broke the guy that that did this. We right? were kind of um, I don't know. I I I take pride in the fact we were the first you know mainstream show that did this. Do you remember who did it? We did this we did this years ago. What was the name of the spirit song? Somebody help me. Uh, let's help see. Help me, Jesus. Help me. Help I'm me. looking. I'm that, looking. That's it, isn't it? Help me, Jesus. I'm looking. Huh? This is a remix. <laughs> Uh, song similarities, yeah. Oh, yeah, the song was called Taurus, I think. Taurus by Spirit. And then it was Stairway to Heaven. Right? Yeah, okay, thank you, Yeah, sir. listen to this. Okay. This is hilarious. Ten years after you quit smoking. Oh, you risk boy. That's Stairway to Heaven. Uh, we could all hear it. There you go. All right. This is Taurus by Spirit. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. I you haven't heard it yet. Huh? Plant page said we don't need all this nonsense. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We'll, we'll just go to the riff. We'll put our own shit in. Right. Uh -huh. Stupid flute. Uh, fucking Ron Burgundy, Anchorman flute. <laughs> we're gonna do an hour. <laughs> Next time you're in, we're gonna do an hour on the flute. Ron Burgundy, <laughs> all right? Anchorman flute. Uh. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah. 
flute. Okay. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do they live with themselves? You can't. There's not even an argument here. It never gets old. It never gets old. How do they sleep at night? Stairway is their biggest. Song. People say Stairway to Heaven is the greatest rock song. It always makes number one on everyone's list, They're right? Fucking thieves. That's hilarious. Jeez, they just amazing. really fucking ripped that riff right the fuck off. They said, fuck you, man. Wow, that's funny. Yeah, I hate to say it, because I love Pearl Jam, but they have a song that is just jacked right off a of fucking Tori Amos song. Really? Yeah, Given to Fly by Pearl Jam is is jacked right off of a, uh, an old I don't Tori, know Tori Amos, Amos song. Though. I'm not too... It's uh, one of her p popular songs, like or what was one of her popular songs. Really? This Tori is a new one. Amos. I would imagine it's hard to come up with something completely But she doesn't care. Music. I mean, like, she's never bitched about it. But you hear it. Oh, dude, it's... it's it's. What fucking Tori Amos song? No, like anybody's going to know. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Cornflake Girl? Is that Tori Amos? <laughs> Who is that? Which one is it? That is yeah, your fucking flake. queer. I, I just remember that title. I don't know how it goes. I swear to God. Cornflake Girl. <laughs> Um, I just have a Rain Man fucking thing. What was that song that was fucking exactly like Lady Madonna? That what's his name did? Um, fuck. Yeah, I know. We just. Um, oh, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit, fuck! I can't think of the name of the band. It was that fucking guy. Here's one. Mm -hmm. Let me look it up. Yeah, fuck. Oh, damn it! Yeah, everything. Hold on, off. I got a good one. Offspring. Thank you. Oh right. Yes. <laughs> Offspring does a song that sounds exactly like Lady Madonna. What song? Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, which song is it? We have a whole disc of this stuff somewhere. Yeah. Which song is it? I don't remember. Yeah, they'll it's, give it to me any it's second. It's Obla D Obla Da, and they do uh, get a job. Oh, is that it? But isn't that? That's, oh, right. Wait, yeah, that's Obla not D, a Obla Beatles. Da. I always thought Sorry. Get a Job was an actual Beatles cover. No. Oh, it's, it's not? No. That's uh, hilarious. I okay. thought that that was a cover of Obla no, Dio. Oh, no. Offspring, get a job. It's, Listen to this. <clears throat> Offspring, get a job. Mm. Oh, my God. Those fuckers. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. My I was... friend's got a girlfriend and he hates that bitch. He tells me. <laughs> da, 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 da. Did you sing? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ah. This is exactly. Wait, wait when it kicks in. I wish this guy would sing more annoyingly. This is Obladi Oblada. Yeah, life goes on, right? It's, it's called Obladi Oblada, right? Yeah. Jesus Christ. And then... It really you is. Fucking is that unbelievable. So uh, I'm being reminded by RJ Spirit finally had it and went after Cheap Trick. That was a famous lawsuit. Cheap Trick? Cheap Trick did the flame. <laughs> Why? Why did fucking Spirit get ripped off? So long? <laughs> they have a song. This is this is a really famous one. Uh, Cheap Trick had that huge hit, The Flame. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. This is Cheap Trick, I guess. Yeah. Okay. This song bites. I remember this one. Yeah. Uh, take it song? down. Let's take yeah, it down. Totally. I had this record. I got this record for Christmas. And, and oh. Sam, find uh, Nature's Way by Spirit. This was a famous lawsuit. Spirit finally said, you know what? Fuck Sam. everyone. Just trying to get to the hook and then we'll go to uh, Spirit. All right. Is that good enough? I'm going crazy. Yeah. We'll get to the... Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming back to me. You were the first to be the last. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Yeah. This is arena rock, That's right? Much. Oh, yeah. All right, now go with spirit. I, Nature's I guess, way. Nature's way. <laughs> Spirit's like, you know, you fuckers pursuing everybody. It's the same fucking riff. Nature's way. Something's wrong. It's nature's way. Poor Spirit, man. No one bought Spirit albums. Ah, oh, it's so funny, dude. It's nature's way of saving you. I remember this song, man. It's you do? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Here's a, I got a good one. I th I think I've actually mentioned this one on the show before years yeah. ago. Pull up Sister Golden Hair, please, oh. by America. Uh huh. We just need to hear the verse. Sister Golden Hair. This is a great tune. This one too. Yeah, I kind of like this song. Yeah, this is a good tune, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ray Parker Jr. and Huey Lewis, we know that yeah. one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That was a big one. This is another one that nobody, this one, nobody talked about this one. Well, I tried to make it Sunday, but I got so damn depressed. All right. That that's all you need? Now pull, yeah, now pull up Green Day, Scattered. All right. No, Green Day that. wouldn't do this. Oh, boy. Not Green Day. Oh, they did. No. I don't know if I ever heard, ever heard this one. Let the ver let just wait for the verse. It's a little heavier. Wow. Well, I tried to make it. That's a little loud. Blah, 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 blah. That's a little more energy. That's hilarious. We'll cover it up with, yeah, yeah. With volume and energy. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. Joe yeah. Satriani and uh, Viva La Vida by uh, Coldplay. Yeah, he sued him over I that I think one. you lost that one, right? I think so. Hmm. Mm. Huey Lewis won against Ray Parker Jr., didn't Yeah. He? And then there was a famous one where John Fogarty, what was it? He had to sue himself. Yeah. Because he ripped is... off CCR when he was in CCR. <laughs> he but got... he wrote the song, so it was like. He has company. He, he has literally a... had to sue himself. Uh, that one was really confusing. The record label, he left C CCR. Old Man Down the Road, I think it was. Yeah, and, he uh, went CCR and went solo. The record the label sued him. Right. For saying you're ripping off the Credence sound, we own Credence. You're ripping off yourself, <laughs> right, but we own him. We own your old self. So he had to go into court and defend why his solo stuff sounded different sounded like, from Credence. Right. And he actually brought a guitar into the courtroom and like had to show everybody, like, look, the Credence songs do this and my songs do that. Wow. But he was the creator of both. Just amazing. It's a fucking fucking lawyers. Fucking assholes. That's one of those classics. Like it is him and his brother, and they fucking hate each other. Yeah, that's like an Oasis thing where it's like. Mm. The, uh, I found a fucking video of Oasis. It's too long to watch, but you find good shit, dude. You really do. You gotta. Can you thank find you. this shit? Can you text me? Cause yeah, I'm, I'm bored at home, babysitting. I Help tweeted out. this out. Help me out. I tweeted this out. I wrote, I always thought I hated this guy, but it turns out I actually love him. And it was just a 12-minute video of the lead singer of Oasis doing, like, asshole things in interviews and in public. I was... <laughs> well, it's a montage? Yeah, I was good. laughing we, so hard. Can we get a piece of it before we leave? Yeah, his, he's... If it's good, Liam we'll put it on our Facebook page. I think Liam's Gallagher the singer. Liam Gallagher. Liam or Noel. I don't they really know. are Those assholes. Are and you don't like the band. No, I'm not a big like fan of Oasis, the whiny shit. Yeah, Champagne the... Supernova. So type in Liam yeah, Gallagher's yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, yeah. greatest moments or something like that. <laughs> there, it there it is. That's the funniest moments. He went, are you singing Soul <laughs> Sally Can Wait? No, I walked through and I said, yeah, I reckon you should fucking sing. Soul Sally Can Wait. Right. You know, is I, that, which is the truth. Did he write that lyric? Yes, or did course, you because he, he said, did. And he reckons that I was, you know. But he said, I, I, all right, let's just say for argument's sake. Right. So he alluded to the fact. <laughs> They're fucking arguing about who wrote the right. lyrics. They're two brothers. Said, no, Jesus he said, well, you should do. So what were you singing at the time? You were singing I don't fucking know, I was singing, I don't know. I, I don't know. So fucking So which one's the asshole? 
I don't know. The one on the right. This, okay. this is this is the first clip. All right then, who's first then? <laughs> Step thing who's in the water. It's got to be you there with that weird haircut there. How many haircuts you got there for? You know. I'd like to thank all the people who voted for us. I thought we were going to win nothing, you know what I mean? To so say, you never know these days, you know, I don't, you know, you don't... I come because, you know, you get invited, you know what I mean? And, you know... And if I wouldn't have won anything, I'd f***ing smash the gaff up. <laughs> What do you think of the worst fashion mistakes on the Have you seen someone that's so like, ooh, like, so fashionable and is really getting your head in it and looks hideous? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Who? Yeah. You. Are you fine? <laughs> I had the darkness uh, on my show on Friday. Whoopee. <laughs> and then I asked them if they, uh, if they wanted to ask you a question. Whoopee. I have to say, I am a bit nervous because I've seen some interviews and I've seen what he does to journalists. Le leave it there, just you tell me what they said. We're massive Oasis fans. Does he like the darkness? Do I like the darkness? Yeah. I like that first song when it come out, and then they said something about me. Nah, I couldn't be asked with him now. I can't wait to bump into him one day. Apparently he lives nearby. Yeah. <laughs> I like that silly song that they come out with first time. It made me laugh. <laughs> that made me laugh. That <laughs> song made, made him laugh. And then he got a bit serious. and started getting a bit big for the boots. He started slagging off the boys. So now, what's the next? They're being hyped <laughs> as the best band around at the moment. Is all the hype true? Yeah. It is. Uh, the best band <laughs> about today on the planet. <laughs> it's a fact. <laughs> it's a do you have fact. to be feeling something every time to write? I've got to be honest. I've got to, I can't write songs about being it's young and right. unemployed and being 21 yeah. because I'm not. You know, why do you write songs but, about me being sweating on and very good looking? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've got a bands out there styled and that, and you can see them a mile off like Coldplay, you know what I mean? And you know they don't buy their own clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should. You should buy Pretty Green. <laughs> what about uh, Coldplay? Coldplay, what about them? Do you like Coldplay? All right. Just okay. It's all right. Co they, don't, they, don't, they don't do it for me that much. They're not rock and roll enough, man. Yeah. You know, they're all right. They live all around the corner for me, so I don't say too much. To <laughs> yeah. to they're neighbours. They used to come round and, you know, give me a paper cut or something. You sound like a paper cut or something. <laughs> Such. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is. 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 I mean, he's saying that um, Cole plays in rock and roll enough. Oasis was kind of wimpy at times, right? <laughs> you know what's funny? After I saw this, I started going through the Oasis catalog and listening to stuff, and uh, they were way better than I ever kind of thought they were. Cause oh, I like some of their stuff, absolutely. Yeah. I thought it was all ballads and stuff, but it's not. The uh, Maybe I just don't know enough about the band. Yeah. The band? The, the band. band. All it's right. a fact. Joe, yeah. we're going to start our weekend. Thank you oh, for coming yeah. in today. Oh, All the way absolutely. from Philly and sleeping on, um, well, no, in Roland's bed. He gave up his bed, had a little sleepover, had to deal with the snoring just to come in here, and we appreciate it. Make sure your mom knows we're thinking about her. Thanks for having me, man. Seriously, guys. Yeah, this was Joe, such you're a... always a fucking pleasure having Joe absolutely. on. Absolutely. This was such a welcome uh, relief and break from everything at home. Yeah, so yeah. Thank you. Stressful. I really appreciate being here. Very stressful. And thank we got, you. what, Caroline's Memorial Day weekend sort of around there? Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, I'll be there, and uh, Warner Sound channel on YouTube, Pilot's oh, yeah. coming out that week. All right, Joe. So, yeah. Uh, remember, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Di gold dip roses are all the fucking Oh, rage. right. You know what? <laughs> They're all the rage, man. I think that's the move on Mother's Day, isn't no, it? I mean, I, oh, yeah. I don't think you should send your mom, like, I don't know, chocolate-covered stuff. Oh, well. <laughs> or flowers. <laughs> or some dumb, dumb pendant. Hey, wait a minute. I really... What? But before, you were saying... No, 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 no. But I heard before... I told all the people what I was <clears> going to <throat> do. Oh. You yeah. said an hour later, trust me, it's going to be the shit. Oh. Guess what? It's time for the, it's the time good for shit. The shit. This is the good shit for Mother's good Day. Shit. Uh, here's a question, Joe. What's the most important holiday? Mother's Day. They're supposed to guess Christmas. Oh, well, I, I 
you know, Christmas, because I, I no, also no, no, get no, things. Not Christmas. And then, <laughs> you have to not. Go, and then you have to guess Valentine's Day. Valentine's no, no, Day? No, no, not Valentine's Day. Father's Mother's Day. Day. Mother's Day. Jesus. All right. Mother's Day. Do you love your mom? Joe loves his mom. I, I do. Tell. Yes. He's made some sacrifices to make sure mommy's okay. Love my mom. Uh, fact. Me <laughs> mom. Fact. 100% <laughs> fucking fact. Steven Singer, we're talking about the famous gold dip roses, of course. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, we like these roses for oh, sure. Yeah. Lots of different colors, by the way, besides the gold dipped uh, rose. It's the perfect gift for mom, uh, your mother in law, or the mother of your children. A real long stem rose dipped in 24 karat pure gold. The gift lasts forever, and it's only 69 bucks. That's 69 bucks. Steven Singer's real long stem rose comes uh, shipped in a beautiful gift box. Yeah, they have a nice All display right. with this thing. Yeah. And the uh, personalized Mother's Day card. Oh, geez, over there. That it's a sounds wonderful nice, gift. dear. He comes up every holiday with a bunch of them for us. And I pass them around, man, and people seem to really, really like them. The gold roses? The gold roses, but they have different colors. Joe, you want to know about the different colors? You then could, gold? You could choose from violet pearl. I don't understand. What does that signify? I don't know. <laughs> but wait, it's a gold rose, but it's not co the color of gold? The gold rose is like, no. that's the that's the one of his main ones. But he's like, you know what, maybe people don't like the gold dip rose. I, you know, so he's got other colors but for But they're people. gold dip, but then he, he, he accents them with the various colors. Oh, but I've seen ones where they're just gold dipped. Yeah, yeah. Then and there's then he just puts a colors on them after. Gold one. Gotcha. Right. Pearl uh, symbolizes admiration. He decided that, I guess. <laughs> He's decided what the colors mean. It's I've never heard this before. Uh, it must fucking be nice. fact. This guy. <laughs> this guy is full of himself. I love him now. <laughs> fucking fact. <laughs> admiration. You <Your> fuck. <laughs> But he's full of himself. Oh, yeah. All these colors, he's deciding for us what the colors mean. Thank you, Stephen. Stop. Peach <sighs> symbolizes appreciation. Really? I didn't know that. It never, he made it up. It never has symbolized that. All right, that. good. He, he made, made it, it up. up. Stephen Singer's a liar. How about, Stephen, they're going to go to your website, and they're going to pick the color because it looks cool. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And the classic. The nice color. It's like, I like Peach, but I don't admire her very much. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in a quandary. <laughs> And the classic all gold, which symbolizes respect and eternal love. Oh. No, that, that, no, man, that symbolizes rich. That is, that symbolizes that cage. That symbolizes, I gold? got some of that money. It's money, gold roses. Listen to all of us, please. <laughs> I hate stevensinger.com. Our jobs uh, depend on this. <laughs> Go there and order some shit. For mom. Wow. Order now and get free shipping. The perfect gift from the best jeweler in the country. <laughs> Call one eight 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 I hate Steven Singer or go to I hate Steven Singer dot com. That's right. Order your Mother's Day rose now. Do it. It's a fantastic idea. Fantastic. I hate Steven Singer dot com to check out the roses for yourself. I'm looking at them now. Thanks, Joe. The Andy and Anthony show is pretty much over. But if you feel like sticking around after ONA Live is next.